Waka! Hello? Good evening! I'm sorry for the wait. It seems like I'm having trouble with my monitor. Is it working? I think it's working, but I saw it glitching earlier. I'm not sure if it's the monitor or the the HDMI cable. So... Just as long as it's not the capture card. I hope it's not the capture card. Welcome to Genshin Impact! Again, we're gonna be playing the Aranyaka World Quest. The one that you guys have been telling me that is super long. Hello, good evening! Welcome to the stream! Blaze, Natalie. Red Soul! I must still be watching Idol Philippines. Yep, um, my mom was watching Idol Philippines. I just happened to be there in the same room. And also the little gremlins, the little doggies did something again that needed my attention. Hello, Nagato! Welcome to the stream! Akane! Welcome! I hope you guys enjoy watching today. Ahaka! How are you guys? How was your weekend so far? Saturday. It's, um, it's a bit rainy where we are. No, not a bit. It was really strong. There were strong rains today. But hopefully you guys are safe where you are. Please uh, keep safe. Hello, Julius. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. How's Idol Philippines? Um, I only enjoyed the second and the last performance of the night. I'm not exactly sure their, about their names. I wasn't paying attention, but I did like their performance. The second, I think it was the second and the last performer for today. Yep. Hello. So uh, I'm just gonna post the live chat question for today. Who is your favorite Arkan so far? With the four that we know of. Venti, among Venti, Morax, Raiden A, and Kuzanali. Lesser Lord Kuzanali, who is your favorite so far? Both in terms of story, no, actually just in story because we still don't know how Kuzanali is gonna play. Also again, I'm very sorry that I'm late today. So things caught my attention before starting the stream. But it seems like my monitor isn't glitching now. So we should be ready to start the stream after 10 minutes of being late. Hello no wait! Ready for the 46 quests? I... no. No. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not- I'm really not sure how 46 quests is gonna fit into how many streams. Seems like all of my commission quests are in Inazuma again. So I'm just- I'm just gonna do commission quests again and wish for Zhongli once more. I have been contemplating whether or not I should buy- I should subscribe to Welkin again because new region, definitely new characters again that I will event inevitably like. Though now I'm still a bit neutral towards most of them. Um, currently I only want... Let's see... Sino? Kuzanali of course because she's an Arkan. Nilo maybe? And Dea. What did I- Kralski, hello! What did I miss? Nothing! We were just getting started. Want to burn resin before the long story? Um, I think I'm gonna save my resin for now. I'm gonna convert them to... I'm gonna convert them to condensed resin and hold on to them for now. Since I feel like this will really take me a long time to finish. And for this one, I want to focus on the world quest. Aranara. Also, I, I found out how to get those crimson witches. A uh, Crimson Witch artifact set. So I think it we need to sacrifice four, four other artifacts in order to get one Crimson Witch of Flames. And of of the artifacts that I've got from the Strong Box, I think it's called Strong Box. I only got one like. I actually am not sure how many that I got. I think a handful, just two, three, or four that are useful. But even then, they're not really all that... All, they're not the best kind of artifacts. They didn't have good stats. But I will make do with what we have. Forty-six quests. You guys counted. 
46 quid. But I'm pretty sure the quests aren't as... aren't as long. Well, some of those quests in that chain won't be as long as the others. Maybe it's just go here, do that, go here, do that. In between longer world quests. Okay, that's it. So how was your how was your weekend? How was your Saturday? Are you guys fine? Are you guys alright? Doing well. I hope you guys are well rested as well. Because this is gonna be a really long, really long world quest. You only want Nahida. Ah, uh, Kuzanali, yep. Heavy raid in Malaysia too, so please stay safe. And if you're leaving, if you're going outside, don't I mean don't bring don't forget to bring your um, your umbrella. And actually, don't just bring one umbrella, bring two. Just in case you come across someone who needs who needs an umbrella as well. Yahoo! I wonder how blessed you guys feel hearing Hutao noises finally during our Genshin streams. Ouch. Ow! Don't kick! But I see now just how much how much she consumes stamina. So much because when I whenever I'm playing, whenever I'm playing Yanfei, she never runs out of stamina, even though charge attacks are also part of her combat, of her gameplay. But with Hu Tao, I always lose stamina. There we go. Is Aki taking a break? Uh, yep. Aki will be taking a break for now. I'm not sure about Genshin because it has been a while since Aki played Genshin. Our, so his Asia account is still level 25? AR25. With no signs of progress. Wait a minute. If. If. If Aki, say for example, if Aki were to continue playing his Genshin Impact account, that means we have. If we reach Sumeru, we have to do that again. The Aranara World Quest all over again because areas in Sumeru are locked behind that quest and we need to complete that in order to access some of those areas. Ah. Get C1 Huta and you won't have any more issues. C1. Yeah, oh yeah, you reminded me of the time where I I could have I could have gotten a C1 Huta, but instead I pulled for stuff of what was it called? Stuff of Homa? Oh I was so disappointed in that banner. I did get the other one. I think that was good for Venti, but Staff of Homa though. I should have I should have just pulled for another Hutao just in case. You can access Sumeru even without going to Inazuma. But you'd still have to do Aranyaka, Aranara World Quest. That do we Good evening, how are you, Aka? I'm doing fine. Doing fine, though a bit tired taking care of the dogs. Ah, tomorrow, actually, we need to go back to the vet to get a follow-up checkup. A follow-up checkup for the other, the younger dog. Because last week we had to rush her to the hospital.
But hopefully she's fine now. Let's see, I need to reposition my characters. There. Oh, oh my God. No, no, don't. Why do they always come in pairs? I did improve Huto's artifact set a bit thanks to the strong box. At least, right? At least we don't have to go to the trouble of completing the Scarlet. The Crimson Witch of Flames. Scarlet? Was it Crimson or Scarlet? I forgot now. But yeah, the La Signora artifact set. I don't we don't have to go to the Hidden Palace of Zhao Formula again. We just have to get lucky with the strong box. That said, I haven't actually gotten lucky yet. Saves me the trouble though of facing those abyss mages again. You have two other accounts that you need to do Aranara again. But at least you only have to read yeah, you only really need to re read the dialogue of the the first time you go through it. So the subsequent times you're gonna do it again. You can just skip the dialogue. It's still I think it's a bit tedious though. I just hope that there's there isn't too much reading. Because the world quest isn't voiced, so I don't know how my how long my throat can keep up with all the dialogue. Crimson, yep, yeah, Crimson Witch of Flames. Hello, Meta Joe, welcome to the stream. Crimson Witch of Flames. It's not Scarlet. It's not Scarlet Witch of Flames. It's Crimson. In the hidden palace of Zhao formula. Infamous for not giving for being stingy with good artifacts. There's too much reading actually. Uh I I like reading and I like playing video games, but I don't like doing both at the same time. A reason why I don't play visual novel games. Yeah, just, yeah, normally I think it'd make it should make sense that I should like I should like visual novels because reading and video games, right? But then why them both together? I just I just don't care for visual novels. But I played Omori. Omori was far from being a visual novel. It had adequate gameplay and uh and story progression. Plus I found it really engaging. Usually in visual novels. And I guess Genshin as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of padding before they get to what they where they need to go. But I guess it's important too because it builds character. Yeah. Mostly play video games for a story. There got there has got to be a fine line between just enough dialogue and gameplay so one shouldn't take up the space of the other so it's still engaging all right mm -hmm. how many primo gems do we have oh yeah speaking of primo gems i forgot some of the things some of the events here yeah no more lost riches in the wilderness of Samaria. a person named omen seems to be tr seems to be troubled by something actually still have more opportunities to collect primo gems but maybe i'll just really do i'll just focus on aranyaka first before i do all these other stuff 
But the problem is, if I don't finish Aranyaka within this 15 days time period... Oh, it's a Sealy event! We can get a new Sealy? A mini Sealy. Ay, la buyo. And they have a green one now. I think this is the unique color this time. For Dendro. Lost Riches. Normally you just go around the map, right? Uh, but I'm guessing you need to go around Sumeru. And since I don't have the entire Sumeru yet, yeah, I really should just go for Aran Aranyaka first before anything else. First part is pretty boring, but it gets better the more you progress. I hope I can get through the first part then. But thankfully it's Saturday, so I have more energy than usual today. Biased? No, <laughs> no, I'm not biased for Omori. I guess I am. But no, really, the cutscenes, compare the cutscenes or the dialogues. The time spent with characters talking to each other in Omori, there, there isn't, compared to Genshin, Omori is much shorter. Plus, I think what makes Omori good is that there is an underlying mystery to Omori and each time the characters talk you just want that little bit of information to add to the overall mystery. So sometimes there are clues hidden within. Paimon Shop have re has reset right? That means we can buy intertwined fates. I have just enough for two wishes but we can still buy. Paimon Shop. There you are. How many can, can I buy? Just four. Anyway, at least we have we still have one more intertwined fate in the bank. And inter blind fate for this? No. Man, it's so hard to wish. Okay, um Zhongli. Zhongli. We're gonna get Zhongli this time, we're gonna get Zhongli this time. We're sitting on his chair. He's he's bound to come. Look at all the trouble that I'm doing just to get someone who is not Ganyu. I'm the what? <laughs> this is the third time I got Fischl wishing for Zhang Li. It's it's like and it's it's because I didn't get the Fischl skin. The game is insulting me. Okay, last two wishes. Come on. Please. Please. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Alright, last wish for at least this part. I'm not sure if we can earn Primo Gems by doing the Aranyaka World Quest. Oh no. Where is Zhongli? We can still we can buy now the last intertwined fate. Okay, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. Last one for now. <gasps> no! What the hell is this? Uh what's my where's my pity at anyway? So the last 5 star that I got was Jean. Jean... Brynhildir? Gunhildir? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, it's 5. Oh, 5 per page now. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. No, wait. Why am I counting by ones? I'm an idiot. Hold on. <laughs> so 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 25, 30, 35. Wait, I am at very 35, 40. I'm almost at soft pity. Close. Close enough. Well, at least. We can be sure. 
just yeah. sometime maybe next week if we earn enough primo gems maybe if we have time i can do spiral abyss again today we didn't say order <laughs> count him just, but just one my mind is too busy trying to imagine life with Zhong Li that i forgot how to count by fives okay we can focus on aranyaka now aranyaka It gives a lot of primo gems, Aranyaka. That's good. Um, I still haven't finished Tatara Tales. It's been what, close to one year now. Uh, this is it, right? The children of Vimara Village, Woodland and Woodland Encounter. Ah, Aranyaka. Yep, this one. Talk to Rana once you are ready. The woman who goes by the name of Rana seems to be a forest watcher of Sumeru. Accept her invitation and travel to Vimara Village. Okay, Rana. I think Rana is our focal person, our focal NPC for this particular world quest. Like, um, Zhe Chong? Zhe Chong. Zhe Chong. In the chasm. And, uh, Kazari. In the Sakura cleansing ritual. Also, did you guys know that... Wait a minute, why did I not heal? Oh, it's just a regular waypoint. The, the Hoyoverse retroactively changed Kazari's name into... Hanachisato? Hanachisato. Because, um, Kazari was actually a mistranslation. It was supposed to be Hanachisato. I don't know, Kazari has a better ring to it. <clears throat> ah, the joys of voiceless dialogue. Yeah, we're gonna read all of this. I'm gonna have a dry mouth when, by the time we end this stream. When you're ready, I'll take you to Vimara Village. It's smooth sailing from there to either Sumeru City or Port Ormus. I'm a forest watcher after all. Escorting travelers is my job. I've got something else on the table. Oh no, let's go. You have my undivided attention. Okay, follow me. Woodland Encounter, Aranyaka. Okay, let's go. I see, we're supposed to follow her for five hours. Since you're a forest watcher, Rana, you must be very familiar with the woods, right? Uh-huh, I've lived around here for years, and I know every tree in the forest. Really? Well, that was a short trip. It's only been a few days and a new withering zone has popped up already. So close to the main road too. Ah, withering zone again. I should try, I should not attempt to voice point one. We handled it with Tinari before. Morning to Kanashi, hello. Good morning. Um, good evening from the Philippines. Akairo and Tinari disposed of a withering zone before? I won't go into how dangerous it is then. Regardless, let me mark down the location uh, and radius of effect for now. After I take you to the Vimara village, I'll go to Gandharvaville and bring Tinari over to help. No need, Rana. Just leave it to us. No way. The withering zone is lethal. Even veteran forest watchers wouldn't approach it unless absolutely necessary. Akairo can manipulate the elements and it, would s it should somewhat stave off the withering's effects. Eh? Now that I think about it, you did show such ability when fending off the fungi. But still, you shouldn't do that. We can't have you injured by the withering after coming all this way. Don't worry, Rana. Akaido has proven to be very reliable in the many encounters throughout our journey. Leave it to me. It's a piece of cake. Uh, Alright, I understand. I'll wait here. If it's too much to handle, get out of there or call for help, and I'll be there. Aw, that's so nice. Don't worry, I got this. How do we clear up these zones again? We... Summon the Dragon and then charge attack, right? Nope, not that one. This one. Ah, okay, I remember. But it attacked me. Okay, then 
be... So after hitting it, we should run right away. Like the coward we are. Any more? Ah, this one. How was I supposed to dodge that? Hey, look, it's Ms. Magius. Rana is an NPC fighter. NPC. I wonder, but I do wonder how relevant light candle of life. How relevant will she be in this Arkan quest? Uh, I mean, uh, world quest, not Arkan quest. Uh, Nick, 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 uh, Nick, Nick, Nin, Ninsi. I ever pronounced that right? Doesn't this quest take a lot, like a lot of time? Yep, that has been the common comment towards the Aranyaka world quest, and we're only just starting. Akairo is impressive, right? You're amazing, incredibly amazing, like Spider-Man. Pardon me, <clears throat> Akairo. Uh, Miss, you don't have to be so formal. Okay, so I wonder if you guys are interested in joining us. I can vouch for you both. It would be great to get powerful, dedicated people like Akaido and Paimon on our side. With you guys, we can better control the spread of the Withering. Sure, you're probably not familiar with the woods, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Wait, I have prior commitments. Oh yeah, speaking of the forest, Paimon's got a question. Do you remember the wondrous creatures we saw before? Wondrous creatures? You quickly described the wondrous creatures you met previously. The ones that look like tiny little scarecrows. Tiny little. It's a bit redundant. Oh, they sound like the mythical Aranara. Small round, plant-like fairies. They are denizens of the woods and guardians of the trees. But we generally dismiss them as just a tale. You sure those weren't just some shroom boars you saw, Akaido? Shroom boars? Yeah, that's an animal you only see in the forest of Simeru. They are round... Like that one flying? Behind us? There's a tiger behind us! Are we safe? They are round green beasts that live in the forest. We'd use them to find precious mushrooms. Really? Uh, anyway, in all my years in the woods, I've never seen an Aranara. Aranara! However, you can ask the kids after you get to Vimara village. It's quite tempting not to do that. They seem to be... it's quite tempting. Yeah, no. Yeah. They seem to be very into the legend of Aranara. Although children always try to hide their thoughts from adults, you can read their minds like a book. Just like Paimon. Hey, that's because we're buddies and know each other very well. Uh. Okay. Go to Vimara village. Vimara. Whee! If only there's n there isn't any ending lag, like... We can carry the momentum of our zip line, so we can fly, f we can glide faster. That would be much, that would be much more fun than stopping when we, stopping at the zenith of that zip, of that zip line. I'm back, Grandpa Amaja, Amaja. Rana, you know the job of a forest watcher is important, but you should come around more often. Yeah, I know. I patrol the forest so that those tiger cubs can hang out in the woods safely. It was just a mess right now. There are tigers in Vimara village? <clears throat> tiger cubs refer to Ayutab and his friends. By the way, your voice. I don't think I've ever met you. Do we have visit- Oh, are you- Uh, uh sir, are you blind? Oh yes, grandma- Grandpa or just a uh, weak eyesight probably. Grandpa Amaja, these two are- Rana gives Amadia a brief rundown. Ah, I see. Welcome to Vimara Village, and thanks for helping Rana out. I plan to form a night. I plan to form a, a night watch, getting Alfonso, Barham, and Aurelius to safeguard the perimeter as a group. That's a great plan. It's for the good of the children, after all. Has something happened in Vimara Village lately? 
Oh, could it be related to the round blood-like creatures we saw before? What are you talking about? That sounded like a cabbage from your description. <laughs> My cabbages. It's okay, we're just- it's okay, we're just li a little uneasy from some recent events. I've spent my whole life in Vimara Village and never saw anything like this. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the first time you saw someone like Paimon as well. I won't bore you with my stories. Please watch over Rana. She's always been a troublemaker since she was little. She got lost in the woods once when she was 7 or 8 for a couple of days. Hey now, Grandpa. Fine, fine. You be a good host now, Rana. Don't let our guests down. For sure! Meta Joe, um, your favorite NPC so far is Rana. Hmm. As in, like, your favorite more than Kazari. Mine is, um, it's a bit of a mix. It's a bit of, it's a lot, actually. It's not just Kazari. So many of them are very likable. I'm not this kind, powerful traveler. How about you? Got anything good? You know it. You see, oh, it's just regular dialogue. I mean, it helps because... The village seems alive. It seems organic that there are NPCs living their lives. Sumeru Rose. I'm back, Alfonso. I see. Who is that? Who is that with you? Allow me to introduce these two impressive travelers who have helped me a lot. And this here is Alfonso, just about the most dependable person in Vimara Village. You flatter me, Rana. Anyway, nice to meet you two, and thanks for looking after Rana. You don't look like a local, Alfonso. Are you a traveler too? Tabi Bito? <laughs> You're an experienced traveler indeed. Saw right through me at a glance. I came as an apprentice from Fontaine, but ended up staying because I really like it here. And it's been years since! Alfonso is practically one of us now! Anyway, how are the kids? You guys are married? They're not running around, are they? I mean, it's not a good time right now. They're in the village, waiting for you to return, after Kavus came back. Is it really okay to talk about that before our guests? Maybe we should talk about it later. Is it something important? We can come back later. Don't worry, they saved my life after all. Actually, you could have made it on your own. Time is life to me. You saved me time, so you saved my life. Anyway, some of the children in Vimara Village have gone missing recently. That warrants much more than just an anyway. This is a very serious problem. Have you notified the sheriff in Samara City yet? Is there anything we can help with? Oh, wait, wait, just listen to me. The missing children always came back in a few days, though they don't remember what happened. Oh. Could this somehow be related to... The Sumeru Ark Conquest. I'd round up a search party every time. Sometimes we'd run into wild animals, sometimes a withering zone. Other times, outsiders obviously too, too tough for us to handle. However, we could never find the kids since the woods are simply too big to search, even for Rana. Yeah, but in the end, they would suddenly return when no one was paying attention and couldn't recall anything when asked. They remembered nothing at all? I'm not sure. I think they just don't want to tell us adults. Uh, even though I'm only a few years older than them. Still, that's pretty concerning. Right, so I've been patrolling nearby recently, looking out for anything unusual. That's also why I just spoke to Amaja about forming a night watch. I also asked Alfonso to keep an eye on the kids. Sorry. It's okay. I'd be more concerned if they actually stay put. I'm going to have a word with Iosafat later. It's his job to watch after Kavus and Sudabe. You ought to take it easy for a while here, Rana. You're the only one who can get through to the kids. It's dangerous outside lately. Withering zone, outside, withering zone aside, you got the Fatui from Shizhnaya with their armed mercenaries operating in the forest. If something goes wrong... Fatui? They're also here! I know, I'll be careful. But I should be on the ball because it is dangerous. But even if you could deal with the wild animals, the Fatui are more than you can handle, Rana. It sounds like Alfonso knows the Fatui very well. Oh, I learned about them from the travelers shutting, shuttling between Sumeru City and Port Ormas. It's Rana! Oh, the kids are there. Yay! They're so happy! Yes, Rana is back with Alfonso too! 
<laughs> here comes trouble. Anyway, think it over, Rana. I picked a bunch of star shrooms for you, Rana! Eotham, didn't you promise me to never wander outside the village? The Rishbuland Raja will come and get you if you don't behave. I'm big now, and I'm not scared of anything. Did you catch the Gator Raja this time, Rana? Why is it always three kids? For all we know, this could be the th same three kids from Leoe, playing on the ship. I want to hear some tales from the woods, Rana. Well, I didn't see the Gator Raja this time, but I brought you a golden lion and a silver... Um, silver... what though? Um... Weasel Thief? Why Weasel Thief? Silver Dustbird. Silver Bass. Super Silver Spectre. Hmm. Calm down, Paimon. Alright, stop picking on them. Akainu and Paimon are my friends. <sighs> Paimon's not going to get mad at kids. Regardless, you know a lot of animals. That's right. Rani would tell us stories every time she's back. She told us about a huge, huge gator last time and the Sumter Beast Lord. And the Rishmalant Raja that couldn't be caught. That's right, and it will come and get you if you don't behave. How is this all relevant to the story? Everyone in this village sure seems to get along. If only it could always be like this. Anyway, my friends here came from a place far, far away. Why don't we let them why don't we let them tell a story today? Me? Sure, our trip to Samaria has been a very eventful one. Yay! Let's all go to Rana's house! Last one there is a Spectre! I prefer Guardian or Phantom, but sure, Spectre is good. Be careful going over the bridge. Don't fall into the water! Let's go. Ah, uh, I have been speaking for 40 minutes. Got anything to say, Alfonso? No? Where's Edward? They don't know. They did say the last one there is a specter, so... What's your name? Eotham, okay, you're the specter. Where are we going? Back to Leoe? This is so far. It's hard to walk with controllers sometimes. Mm, not to me. I think it's pretty fun, especially using Ayaka with her dash. And also, I think they updated her dash. She doesn't get stuck on stairs now, which is really good. So no more breaking the dash just to walk. These kids run faster than birds could fly. You guys are getting good at running. It's going to worry me sick if you run away someday. Julius! Uh, goodbye Julius, thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my reading session of Genshin Impact. Thank you for watching Julius. Take care. We won't run if Rana's here. I'm going to marry Rana when I grow up. Wait, didn't you promise to marry me? Liar! We'll sort this out later. You'll meet more people when you grow up. People more impressive and better than me. For instance, Miss Blonde here is way mightier than me and has met many great people along their journey from far, far away. Don't direct those kids to me! Uh, well, not exactly. It's true. Such as Paimon. Hehe. <laughs> Are you planning to read dialogue the whole quest? That is the plan since... Well, I, I'm gonna read them either way because I need to understand the story. Skipping them might get me lost somewhere. So it's either I silently read along with you guys or I read it aloud. And I think it's much better if I read it aloud. My voice will suffer though. Have you been traveling a long time? Rana said you'd tell us stories. Sure, I guess. Check Discord on media. Um in a bit. Hold on. What's in what's on Discord? I'll check I'll check later. You got the tiger cubs? 
You got the tiger cups then. I have a meeting to go to. You kids be good to her and stay put till I come back. Okay. Okay, children, sit down. I, I have a story to tell. It's called... It's called... The title is Omuri. And you're gonna cry at the end. Alright, on to the stories. You're Iatham, right? What story would you like to hear? Stories about dragons. I've also said they're ancient and very powerful. Sea monsters. I've heard there are a lot of big monsters in the sea. I want stories about a distinguished lady who is smart and powerful. You all want different stories. A distinguished lady who is smart and powerful. Oh, I can tell you everything about Yanfei. I'm smart. I'm smart and powerful. Hey, isn't there someone that knows stories of the eight-headed, of the eight-headed hydras, silver-haired banshees, and the wicked abyss dragon? Simon thinks everyone would be happy if that person was here. How about this? We know a lot of stories, and we'll tell them all. We can ask them about the mysterious creature while at it. True, these kids might know things adults don't, and about how they went missing. Alright, I hope they know the Aran I think, maybe, the Aranaras are more attached to kids. As a trade, Aetham, Kavus, and Sudebe, you'll tell us what you know too. Sure! Anyway, tell the kids a story in a way that they'll find fun. Alright then. You, you first. Aetham. I want dragon stories! Alfonso told me they exist in the world. He said a huge evil dragon lives in a place called Mondstadt. Alfonso sure has his ears on the ground. We know the story. So what is a dragon like? Alfonso said it's terrifying and pillages Mondstadt. Hmm, how should Paimon put it? This is a tale of friends resolving their misunderstanding. I mean, it's, that's, that's, that, that's what actually happened, but that's very boring. This is a, this is a tale of heroes triumphing over evil. Technically, Devalin wasn't evil, just affected by something. <clears throat> Here it goes. A long, long time ago, in a kingdom far away, a big dragon with huge wings and sharp fangs laid in deep slumber. <sighs> when the dragon woke up, it saw the world had changed. Grrr, the dragon announced. I'm mad now and I'm going to wreck your little houses and keeps. The dragon wasn't actually bad, but was tricked by an evil sorcerer into thinking everyone's bad. Then one day, two travelers arrived. Paimon tells the story of the azure blue dragon in a way that really engaged the kids. Oh, we're not getting the full fairy tale? Aww. So with everyone's help, the travelers removed the curse from the dragon and helped it fi find its friend. Wow, I had thought dragons were terrible and would eat sumpter beasts and people. How big is the dragon though? Big like a house? Big enough to swallow Paimon in one bite. If Paimon is the white lady, I guess the dragon isn't that big after all. Hey, Paimon might be short, but she's got a big brain. Big brain, Paimon. And a big appetite too. Hmm, Paimon can swallow the whole Vimara village in one bite, just like the dragon. Well, if that's true, we can fly around inside the dragon's belly. Well, the kid completely misunderstood that, but okay. When it gets hot, we'll go to Shinshnaya that Alfonso talked about, where it snows. When it's rainy season, we'll go to Valuka, where Granny Jehit is from. Valuka? Oh, that's a desert. Anyway, when I grow up, I want to travel everywhere, like you. That's right, travel and travel and make friends, just like how we traveled and got to know you. Can we ask you a few questions, Yotham? Ask about the mysterious creatures in the forest. <laughs> Paimon isn't wasting any time. <clears throat> Rana told us they could be Aranara. Have you heard anything about them, Yotham? Um, about that... No, I heard nothing about Aranara. They look like... cabbages? On a second thought? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Got you! You were lying! Eh? So you've seen R&R before? Actually, I've heard them in Granny Jehit's stories. Um, can we ask Granny Jeh- Jehit? Jet? Jet? Granny Jet. I'm just gonna say Granny Jet. No. Alright, we'll drop it. Rana and others are very worried about you kids, see them. Have you gotten lost in the woods recently? No, I know the woods very well. There's no way I can get lost. But Suda and Kavis did. Everyone was worried, but not me, because I know Arana would take them home. Okay, who is Arana? Singer? Arana Grande? Arana? Who's that? 
Oh, uh, you mean Rana? Rana would find them and take them home. That's suspicious, but Paimon doesn't think we can find out more. But let's change the topic. Why are you interested in dragon stories, Yetem? I want to be great like a dragon. Then I can help Rana and Alfonso. They work very hard. It always takes a long time for Rana to patrol the woods. Alfonso goes out there when no one's looking to. I can help them as soon as I grow up, so they can spend more time in the village. Paimon gets it. You're a great kid, Yetem. Ugh, so much reading. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, that was Star Wars. Oh, I gotta go, everyone have a good day. Thank you very much for stopping by, Blaze. Take care! I feel like Akka is telling us a bedtime story already. Right? I kinda wanted to read the entire fairy tale if they were to if they were to say convert the story of Mondstadt into sort of like a fairy tale for kids. That would be pretty interesting. How they're gonna change the story so that kids can digest it easier. Sea monsters! I heard there's a lot of big and peculiar monsters in the sea. Like the fish that's as large as an island, or the squid as long as a river. And the story about the puppet and the whale. Also the turtle carry an elephant on his back. Okay kid, we're not gonna tell you the story of Wizard of Oz. Just one at a time. You've heard a lot of stories. Why the interest in sea monsters? And I don't think there's a sea monster in Wizard, Wizard of Oz though. When I grow up, I want to be a sailor. Going on seven voyages. Oh, Sinbad! Okay then. And discovering uncharted islands and lands. That's why I want to learn about sea monsters. This way, I can defeat them one day. We ran across the grandson of some pirate. Or, um, we ran across some pirates before. Beto. Wow, that's so cool! Did you find any treasure? Any tales of adventure? Not sure, but Paimon does have a sea monster story. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a sea, ser sea serpent with many heads living in the ocean. It was taller than a mountain when it stretched out its neck. Dear God, I need water. So many words. Ah, okay. The serpent didn't behave, so a god trapped it on the sea floor under rocks to prevent it from making waves and destroying the harbor. After a long while, the serpent woke up and griped, Curse you, despicable god! I'll wash all your houses and treasures out to the sea and make them mine. Roar! Then it rose up to higher than the mountains and caused a tidal wave. Paimon tells the story of the people in the flying castle, fighting the sea hydra together in a way that really engages the kids. Um, flying castle, the jade chamber. And that's how everybody worked together to defeat the serpent and protect the city. So the serpent has been defeated? Oh, what a shame. I wanted to beat it myself when I grew up. Yeah, good luck with that. That's the spirit? Of course, I'm older than Yotam and Surtur, and I have to be stronger than them so I can protect them. I promise to tell you what I know after hearing your story, so what would you like to know? Aranara kid told me everything about them. Oh, there's a lot of them in the forest, like the legendary Sumter Beast Lord. It isn't like any other Sumter beast and will attack intruders. And the Rishbal and Raja that snatches bad children away. But I'm old enough to know Rana made that up to scare the kids. They all sound interesting, but we'd like to know about the round plant-like fairies called Aranara. Do you know about them? Oh, uh, Aranara. Never heard of them, but I know about the Gator Raja. It's a very, very big gator in the woods that has lived for a long, long time and is very, very cunning. There was this one time. That didn't sound convincing. Never mind. It seems like the kids are actively trying to uh, avoid the topic of Aranara. But they, did they sign a contract not to tell? Yeah, I used to, but not lately. Since I got lost in their ones. At least that's what the adults said. That's what the adults said. Because I don't remember anything. I went into the forest to see my friends and share stories about my sister. Then. I just can't remember what happened. When I came to my senses, I was back at the village already. My father held me tightly while everyone was around me, asking me if I was hurt, hungry, or thirsty. Then they wouldn't let me go there again. You should listen and not go there again. Hmm, but you have a friend in the forest? Doesn't everyone live in the village? Yeah, a friend to everyone lives in the, for lives in the forest. Taught us many things, like what wild fruits we shouldn't eat and which trees would let us climb on them. Mm-hmm. 
So, what is that friend like? Oh, well, um, I can't tell you. I'm sorry. Although we're friends, I made a pact with Suda and eat them. I even guess it's a secret between the kids. I think we just hit a dead end. Okay, we understand. Now be a good boy and... Play Genshin. Of course, I'll be a good brother to Sudaba and Iotham. Asile. Asile. What was Asile's um, wife's name again? That's the that's the creature that we fought um, in the interlude, right? With Shun, huh? Oh, Julius, welcome back. How was your trip outside? Oh, did you go outside? But welcome back. Next is Sudaba. Boom, 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 baby. Sudab. What story would you like to hear, Sudab? Any story will do, but I'd like it to have a distinguished lady who is smart and powerful. Well, she doesn't have to be a distinguished lady, but the character's got to be determined and loving. Like Princess Cinnamon, who left her, sp or left her palace with a tiger in the fairy tale. It's a lot of demands. Well, Paimon knows several ladies who fit that description, but somehow they all have connections to Electro. Electro is good! It makes plants stronger and bear more fruit. You know a lot, Sudabe, so where should Paimon start? Hmm, in a place far away there was a library. Uh, library. Talking about Lisa, a general and a shrine maiden. This is kind of a hard choice to make because uh well we've been to in a, let's shine let's shine the spy, spotlight on lisa in a place far away there was a library paimon can go with the story of miss lisa but paimon paimon prefer another one paimon we don't do that to miss lisa so what good is telling the if is of picking lisa if we're still just going to tell the story of raiden a and and yai miko that's uh, fine, let's tell the story of Inazuma. <clears throat> In a place far away on the other side of the ocean, there was a lady general and a shrine maiden. Oh yeah, making the shrine maiden a priestess and the general a queen should help you understand it better. Are they both distinguished ladies? Yeah, they both are. Once upon a time in a kingdom far away, there was a very beautiful and powerful queen. But war came, and although the queen won, she almost lost many friends. She cried and cried. I'm going to make a robot and have it work for me. Then I shall live alone in the place, in the palace forever, and not, mit, and not make any more friends, so I won't lose them. Beep, copy that, working now, replied the robot, who then began running the kingdom for the queen. Then some bad guy started to scheme. Where does the priestess come in? Uh, the training part. <clears throat> the queen had a pretty and powerful priestess friend who couldn't bear to see the queen go on this way. That was when a traveler came to the kingdom. She and her companion were both smart and brave. Really, Paimon? So the priestess thought, ah, ah, ah. They are agile and resilient if they're willing to help. Paimon tells the story yep, of Inazuma. In the end, the Lord, but that's another story. Everyone was so awesome, even though the Traveler wasn't a distinguished lady, she was still strong. That's what I want to be when I grow up. I'm unsure you can do it, but if you don't behave and get lost out there, then none of that will happen. Very smooth of you, Paimon. Queen is A, yep, and the Priestess is Yai Miko. Yes, I'll behave and won't wander outside. What happened when you got lost before? I don't remember. I just went into the woods to gather her herbs. Herbs? Herbs? Yeah, Alfonso said there's an herb. There's a herb. An herb. An herb. 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 To improve Grandpa's eyesight. He has trouble seeing things lately and can't even see people coming his way. So I wanted to help Grandpa. Did Alfonso send you? No, he warned me not to wander to the forest too. But I wanted to help, so I sneaked off. Then I don't remember the rest. Nothing at all. Nothing. When I came around, I was already home. Your brother said everyone was worried. I know what I did was wrong and will never sneak off into the woods again. That's right. Good girl. Speaking of the forest, about the mysterious creatures. You know, I'm noticing again that Lumen is just standing here like that. And imagine if Paimon has voice line. We're just gonna. We're just looking at the kid like this. 
I mean, don't you find that sus when you're the candidate? Why is this other lady not speaking? It's just the little flying fairy. About the mysterious creature in the woods. I don't know anything about them. Whoa, that was fast. What do you mean by mysterious? If I know what they are, they're not mysterious. If I don't, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Sorry. We do have dialogue options, but that's as far as Lumen goes for speaking. That actually makes a lot of sense, but what Paima wanted to ask about is round plant-like fairies. Round and plant-like. Hmm. Oh! Did that ring a bell, Sudebe? Uh, no. That sounds mysterious. Hmm, <clears throat> that's a shame. Because Rana said she would love to know what an Aranara is. Oh, she wants to know too. Um, then... She does! Also, didn't the pri priestess in the story say, Ak! 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 Don't be a tantrum-throwing child who refuses to talk to others. Ak! Ak! Are we really supposed to s to imply that Yaimiko did that? It's like, like she's laughing? Okay, the priestess and the queen are really great friends, but like how they, tr but like how they trust each other, I think Rana would understand why I can't say it. When I'm old enough to understand a lot more, I'll tell Rana and you two. But no, not now. Well, I hope you can grow up healthy and happy. I'll be old by then. It's okay. I'll also age. You'll always be more mature than me. All right then. We won't ask any more questions. Just be a good girl and don't wander around. Mm hmm Thank you for the story. I love it very much. I'm going to be smart, pretty, and strong just like the priestess. Then I'll marry Rana. Uh, 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 it seems they know about the mysterious creatures but just don't want to tell us. Should we divide and conquer them? Why? Should we just- should we get the adults in town to pressure them? No, no, don't pressure the kids. Just treat it as a secret between these kids. I guess that would- that would be- yeah, just get into their inner circle. Make them trust you. Oh, I need to take a break and let me read live chat. Akaido, how old- how old am I? I am... Uh, for lore reasons, I am 100 plus years old. 100 plus, yeah. But my real age is... Around 10 and 50. I think that's a good range. So it's between that. I'm sorry if I'm being very vague. Very, very vague. By the way, I just realized that Zhang Li's EN voice actor is the same voice actor as the main antagonist. Hawk, Hawk Moth in Miraculous. Ladybug. How to end here. So they have the same deep vibrating voice. Ooh, I think I like to hear that, but. Maybe since they're a villain, they sound more sinister. But do they have the same manner of speaking, like the calm, cool, and collected Zhang Li? I wonder how would Hawk Mot say Osmanthus swine tastes the same as I remember? Am I Filipino? Yep, I am Filipino. And also, hello, Summer Van Horn. Welcome to the stream. Why is fungi spore material so hard to get? Oh, I think I read that. You need to. You need a specific elemental reaction in order to get that specific drop so if you got the wrong reaction you'll, you'll be getting another drop instead Val, welcome, Zell, welcome to the stream hello good evening you are old as time yeah very much old. so that means you're my senior hello it's 100 similar the way they talk okay then but so, um, oh, that means that villain is pretty cool, too. It's not a comical villain. Alright, we need to treat it as a secret between the kids. <clears throat> We're staying in Samara for a while and we'll have time to look into it. I'm back. How did it go? Was it fun? It was a lot of reading, so I'm not sure if you can call reading fun, but it was entertaining. It was fun. They told us a story. Dragons actually don't eat people, Rana. Oh yeah? That's good to hear. I was worried a dragon might fly over here and eat y'all someday. Oh no! Storytelling is kind of fun. I think so too. Okay, you should go home now. It's about time to eat. Yosefat said he caught good stuff in the water today. Like primo gems. Come with us, Rana. And both of you too. We've got business to tend to, but thanks for the invite. 
But no, I want to eat as well. I want to eat with Rana. I'll be there next time. Come on, you've got to go now or Yosefat is going to finish it all by himself. Okay, bye Rana. Bye you too. Alright kids, hurry along and eat your nutrients. Stick around for a minute. Stick around for a minute, Yatam. I want to talk to you. I'm concerned about you. The forest hasn't been the same lately. The animals are getting aggressive and more fungi have popped up. Some with the withering some same with the withering zones, which keep appearing. Don't go picking mushrooms anymore, okay, Yatam? Don't worry, I know we're safe, we're safe and not safe. What's more, star shrooms are tasty and they give you the energy to keep working hard. I mean, you could always drink Milo. No, Granny Jit and I are both worried. Promise me that you won't run around out there before I figure out what's going on. Okay. That's a good boy. You'll be great when you grow up, alright? Go eat with Kavas and others. Got it. I hope they'll grow up safe and sound. What do you think about these kids, Hokkaido? Um, I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Regardless, oh no, I feel so bad answering that. No, they're good kids. They're good kids. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, I understand. Regardless, I hope they'll grow up safe and sound. My patrol is actually not done yet. I've still got to check out the West and... And I have a favor to ask. Akaido, Paimon, would you mind coming with me? Eh? Why? I spotted some withering zones there with no one to check them. I'm very worried about kids wandering into one. Akaido, now that you're here, will you, will you give me a hand with that? Please, though I have nothing to repay you with. But there's always primo gems. We have nothing else to do anyway. I'll take that nice axe of yours. Oh yeah, speaking of, we don't have an axe for a weapon yet. Maybe that- maybe this will be a clue for a new weapon someday. We have nothing else to do anyway. We'll just call it exercising. So you will help. I really appreciate it. I don't know how I can make it up to you. You've done so much for me. Well, we're not do- we're not going to ignore those in need. Hmm, let's go then. Oh. Get up from here, then go straight- where? Leave Vimara village and go to the designated location. The good is it's not too far away. Am I interested in Genshin lore? Um, just at the surface level. Sometimes I read the wiki for deeper lore. That's not that's not uh, explicitly told in the story while playing the game, but only sometimes. Genshin's story is pretty deep, and it's actually character deep. Specific characters. But mostly, sometimes I just read how they got their vision. Especially Hu Tao. Though, oh, the way Hu Tao got her vision is really sad. The best thing about my house is that I can sneak off. I can sneak out of it without anyone noticing. That's how I've been running off all the time since I was a kid. Alright, back to business. Uh, Kaido, let's go whenever you're ready. Let's go. Sure, it's not far to the west. Hello, Aka. Sorry I was lurking. Oh, no worries, Zell. Thank you very much for watching. What is the elemental reactions to get fungi spore? I actually am not sure. I just read that there need to be a specific one over at Discord. Their voice makes me sleepy. My voice. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Since I want you guys to be engaged. How can I make my voice sound more engaging? Should I be... Should I speak louder? Do I know, um, how do you pronounce? Pele? Pel? I'm not sure. I don't know anyone with that name. Treasure! <clears throat> 
Rana is physical Arkin without without a vision. That ha that's how good Rana is. I'm excited to know more about what is this. I'm excited to know more about Rana since um I've been reading a lot of praises for the that NPC. Here we are. When I was little, I would often take this road to go down to, to the river valley to play. The withering zones are appearing so quickly now, and Tinari and the others are too busy to deal with them in time. But it's a good thing we have you here now. Leave it to me. Okay, you may clean work of the withering zones before, but they're still dangerous. If it gets to be too much, be sure to leave the realm and take some rest. Alright. How do we deal with this again? I need to find the one... Dendrograna? It's cold, but maybe deal with them first. This would be a different... This... Mushroom. We're fighting a mushroom. Make it make sense, please. I'm still very much dependent on Ayaka, a cryo character that needs Hydro first in order to get Dendro reactions. Dodge, 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 dodge. Okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. And last one. I wonder, yeah, I wonder how many people have the pyrovision in Sumeru. I wonder if it's stigmatized because there's a stigma f because pyro, dendro, anyway. How do I destroy? Destroy tumor of the withering. Withering! How are you feeling, Akado? Do you feel weak or nauseous? No. Next, there's another withering zone over there that'll need your. Alright, some of the texts here scroll on its own. That's why I'm. I can't read them in its entirety. What the heck are these? Are these enemies? Or. These are enemies, right? They look like Pokemon. This one? It's been so long since you had found a treasure chest in Genshin. That means uh, treasures are pretty scattered all around. That means you probably unlocked most if not all available treasure chests. But luckily with this re new region, we have more. We have newer chests. Pele. Pele is a god. Um, from which country or from which place? This withering zone's expanding. Regardless, I'll leave it in your capable hands, just like before, Akaido. Just don't overdo it. I won't. I won't. Don't worry. Piece of cake. This is like the third or fourth time I've seen this reply. Piece of cake. Thanks, Akaido. Maybe we'll have cake by the time we finish this world quest. Oh, you're here! Uh, okay. Nice. I do like her design, though she looks like uh, just an NPC, a regular NPC. We've already seen multiple instances of this particular design. And... But her clothing is pretty cool. Like an actual forest ranger. Hey, what the hell was that? Okay, different reactions this time. Oh, come on! I ran so far! I <laughs> still got hit.
見切りましたの、はい、ですかね Yeah, we're getting Hu Tao. If you have an account on Twitter, there is a user there who creates a chibi Hu Tao comic about her journey trying to find her grandfather when she was just a child. That, because that's the story of how she got her vision. It's pretty tragic. And that comic, although it's, it's, it's small Hu Tao, it's baby Hu Tao, they call her. But. It's so sad. It's just so sad. The journey that she took just to find the spirit of her grandfather. Oh, wait, she's gone! Go to the area where the spin. spin no. spin no. spin no crocodiles are active. Spin no crocodiles? Like Beyblades? I'm adorable. I'm adorable. Finally, after 79. You got Zhongli! Oh, congratulations! I myself am trying, trying so hard to get Zhongli. I'm around, say, 40, pity? 40 or 50. Congratulations! Please take care of Zhongli and build him well. Forest watchers are also tasked with protect protecting the ecosystem. Recently, Potentially because of the withering zones, the alligators have become. Okay, I don't get it. Are they alligators or are they crocodiles? Or are they spino crocodiles? Shall we say unusually manic? Not only have they been invading other animals' territories, but they're reproducing at a faster rate. Oh ho ho! Looks like they have an alpha stud somewhere in the, in the, in the pack. If this goes on, they won't just be a danger to the children, but to the forest's ecosystem as well. Luckily, your opponent isn't a withering zone this time. It's my time to shine. <laughs> you rest up, Akaido. Leave this, leave this up to me. Rest? Not a chance. Or I'll come to help you. We're coming to help too. Is it really okay? That's great then. I'll finally get to fight side by side with you. Do we get to see her in action? What the frick? He just bonked. He just bonked the alligator and it vaporized. Lady, are you alright? She is drunk. Wait, was it me or her that bonked? I think she's pretty strong. I'm just gonna stand at the side here. You can deal with them. Uh, they're, they're aggroed towards me. Come on, bonk them. Go, go, Rana. There, I helped you. Is this the first time we're seeing an NPC fight with us? Like, an NPC. It's not even a main character or a supporting character. Technically, say a third. Why are you running? Oh. Your swing miss a lot. Can you try again? Okay, I think it's just for show. So it was probably us who vaporized one of the alligators or spin of crocodiles.
Okay, it's just a few more attacks. You can do it. Nice! See? She's even stronger than my Hutao. Yeah, it's nice to have the chance to do something. This should help with our problem a little. Besides, watching you fight made me realize that I still have a lot to learn, Akaido. Like footwork and timing too. An experienced traveler like you is just absolutely amazing. Piece of... Why do we keep... It seems like the developers, or at least the local, the localization team of Genshin, really like cake when they translated this part of the game. This is the fourth time, or the fifth time, I've seen piece of cake. Piece of cake. Thank you so much, really. That reminds me, how's your condition, Akairu? After taking care of so many withering zones, do you feel dizzy or nause nauseous or anything? Nah, it's a piece of cake. Just... Uh, I think I'm dying. Eh? Uh, I see. Lie down quickly, I'll go get help. Hey, don't make jokes like that, Akaido. You'll worry Rana. Just kidding. Sorry about that. I actually feel completely fine. I mean, like dying is my default feeling at all times. That's good. You've done so much. Goodness, I feel so much better now. Let's take a break. One of our forest patrol campsites isn't far from here. It should have equipment and supplies. Yay, let's go camping! Camping, that sounds fun. And off we go, it's just ahead. My friend said if you have Zhongli, you have 50% endgame. Oh, <laughs> what? So that that's how relevant Zhongli is. Zhongli. But uh, if it if if they if I just if they were at the same same banner face at the same time like right now I would have just preferred Ganyu but Zhongli Zhongli crocodile hunting season I just there was news recently I think last I think yesterday yesterday night um there was a new local news where in they reported about eating crocodiles. What do they taste like? If you guys have tried crocodile or alligator, do they what do they taste like? Chicken? Here we are. What's that round thing at the edge? That the thing looks like a small cabin. Oh, that. I'm not sure where it came from, but you see, you see them all the time in the forest of Sumeru. Maybe it's some kind of ruin. Strange, since you've asked, I seem to have heard about this kind of house and its resident. Who was it again? Um, it wasn't that researcher who's in Satyavada life. <laughs> Never mind. A kind of Paimon week here for a second. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go tidy up the campsite. Get a fire going and get some ingredients ready. Um, well, this is your chance to shine. Thank you. Let us help you. I can't have that. I was the one who asked you to come and come, to come and help clean up the withering zones. Just think of us trainee forest watchers. What do you need to do, Rana? Well, if you insist, Flyman. Hmm. Could you help me get some firewood then? All you need is some wood chop. That's nothing. Hokkaido could do that. No, we'll need to collect some dried dried branches. That's right. You know your stuff, Hokkaido. You'd make a fine forest watcher. No, actually, just need a pyro character to get the fire going. So. Is that so? Hmm, okay, got it. Let's go, Akaido. Huh? Oh, it seems like you guys are surprised about what I said. Was it the alligator meat? Yeah, it was reported just yesterday. Um... What was it? Uh, in TV Patrol. Yeah, they reported of... A crocodile farm? I think a crocodile or an alligator farm. I forgot which. But they said that it's edible and they they tried it. So I was kind of curious. It tastes crocodilicious. <laughs> ah! If I didn't, if I didn't think about crocodile, I would have still been thinking about dile, dile, delicious, delicious. 
Is the farm legal? Yep, it was. I think it's um they mentioned that raising crocodile farms is one of the one of the businesses that is growing in the Philippines for some reason. Usually it's just chicken farms that's being reported, but we were very surprised that there is such th such a thing as alligator farm. But you have to have some qualifications if you were to raise animals like those. Yep, that should be enough. Let's go find Rana. Here we are. You guys are back. I'm almost done here as well. Will these be enough, Rana? Yep, that's more than enough. Alright, one of our camping traditions is to have the most esteemed person in the group light the campfire. Okay, I'm just gonna call Yanfei real quick. They just have to light it, right? Eek, <laughs> fire! So scary! Leave it to us. Well then, I'll leave lighting the campfire to you, Kaido. Oh, thankfully we have Hu Tao. Oh, yeah, wait. It seems a bit excessive. Using the supplies stored at the campsite and the ingredients gathered along the way, Rana makes a pot of richly fragrant curry. I was reading that. <clears throat> ah, it's so good. Curry tastes even better after hard work. Sounds like Rana stole Paimon's line. It's delicious. Thank you. Still, this curry is so aromatic. What if the smell draws some critters or hilichros over here? Curry, curry in the air. Hungry children, it's time to come home. This is a children's song from Sumeru. There's something free about curry. Each family adds different ingredients and spices depending on how they make it. So each family's curry has its own flavor. So when we were little, we could smell a curry and tell whether it was made by our parents. Ah, oh, that's an interesting tradition. But once we got older, we couldn't tell whose curry was whose anymore. They all seem about the same. But still, you know that it's time to go home and eat when you smell curry. Curry, curry in the air. Hungry, hungry children, it's time to come home. The stuff you make also has a different aroma, Kaido. Oh, is that so? I'd like to try. Sure, I guess. But we've just eaten so much of this curry. Let's make something next time. Okay. Oh, oh no. Is she gonna die in this arc and, I mean, in this world quest? Usually when someone says, let's try this next time to someone, that someone has a death flag race. Should I be worried? That reminds Paimon. Why do you have to pick up branches instead of chopping down trees when you want to start a fire? Does the Dendro Arcan punish people who cut down trees? I mean, it's just a campfire, Paimon. Calm down. We don't need an entire tree to light up a fire. Um, Akaido, what do we do? Oh no, it's because fresh wood has too much moisture in it, so it's hard to light. Also, the Dendro Arcan isn't that petty. Still, our teachings in Sumeru also say to respect nature and the forest, because we are the forest subjects. So are the birds and the beasts and... In the end, the forest will remember. Even if you grow up and forget, don't fret. The forest will remember. The forest will remember. Eh? Rana, what's wrong? Uh, oh, I, I felt something lost in the memories for a long time. Just occurred to me. Something warm and precious, but I couldn't remember at all. Just those two lines. Dang it. It's like when you have to sneeze but it just won't come out. How infuriating. Some things are harder to remember the more you try to remember them. Just ignore it and after a while it might suddenly come back to you when you're doing something else. I'll try. Thanks again for watching those kids in the village from me before. They're like my little brothers and sisters. The oldest one is Kavis. He wants to travel the world by boat when he grows up. Tsurube is his little sister. She says she wants to be just like me. It's a little embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think there's anything embarrassing about that. Then there's Iotem. I'm more worried about him. He was raised by Granny Jit after being abandoned in the village. Oh. Oh no. That's a pretty tragic backstory. Eh? So Iotem was... he's an orphan. Yes, I was still just a little girl back then. One day, the adults discovered that a traveling couple who'd been staying in the village were gone. 
All they left behind was this teeny tiny child. I always used to worry about him, but now that he and Cav Cavus and the others are like a family, Alfonso also looks after him, just like a real older brother would. About what you and the children were talking about before. Yeah, now that you mention it, when we were telling stories to the children, we also asked around about the Aranara. Ah, that's the round plant-like little fairies you mentioned before. Hmm, they said they didn't know, but they were acting like they were hiding something about the Aranara. Hmm, I don't know much about these creatures myself, but I'll tell you the part I heard. First of all, they're much like you described, round and plant-like. The forest is vast and deep here in Sumeru, and it's constantly changing, like our gargantuan beasts. So even lolos will lose their way, let alone travelers. Legend has it that there are countless bizarre and amazing creatures in forests like, li forests like this, and the most famous among them are the Aranara, which, which supposedly means the forest people. The Aranara are related to the Dendro Archon and the Guardians of, of the Forest. They're the bridge between people and trees. They also have the ability to enter dreams. But for the people of Sumeru, dreams are very rare. That sounds amazing. Agreed. They, mi they might not say it in front of the adults, but I think they really like the legend of the Aranara. Who knows, maybe they've seen an Aranara playing in the forest. It's normal for children to have secrets amongst themselves that they keep from grown-ups, so long as they can grow up healthy and become strong, kind, and good adults. Also, about kids going missing. Ah, uh, about that. Um, do you have any clues? We were also really worried, so we asked around. The kids said they were in the woods, and the next thing they knew, they were in Vimara village. They couldn't remember anything that had happened before that. That's right. Kavas and Sudaba suddenly appeared in the village after going missing for a few days. Everyone was buried sick while they were gone. Alfonso, Alfonso even organized a search and rescue team. <laughs> what is it, Rana? Why are you laughing? They were children missing. Now that I think about it, it was actually kind of funny. Remember what I said about curry before? Alfonso made the search party take curry into the forest with them so the children could smell it. Okay, weird strategy, but nice. I guess it's, it kind of makes sense. Anyway, we didn't find Kavas or Sudave, but they came home on their own. And with the whole memory loss situation, something about this whole thing just doesn't feel right. So I've been patrolling the forest and ruling out any elements that could harm the children. Iotem is the only one left who hasn't gone missing, so we have to protect him. About Alfonso... Hold up, my throat is drying up. Ah, should have made green tea for this. Red flag. Yeah, I feel like there's a red flag being raised for Rana over here. I'm getting worried. But um, usually when oh no, my controller got wet. Usually when um, characters, NPCs especially like Kazari and uh, Tepe from Inazuma, when they die after their specific quests, their respective quests. They get a surge of fan arts. I haven't seen any fan arts of Rana yet, so either people are still working on them or just anyway. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, Samara's forest reminds you of Malaysia's forest. So they're big like this. But hopefully they're also safe to walk through. And it's not it's not it's difficult to get lost in them. There should there should be trails. For forests like those. Have you been to the forest a lot? In the Philippines, I don't know. I haven't been to the forest at all. I have been to some, but uh, I didn't spend too long in the forest. It kind of makes me dizzy inside forest. Like, do you know that feeling where in where in you're in unfamiliar place, and suddenly you get lightheaded, like um, you're. What was it called again? Derealization. Derealiz like you are you feel like you're there, but at the same time you're not there. So you're both aware and not aware. You're in the forest. Forests give me that feeling. Oh, speaking of him, Alfonso seems like he's really popular in Vimara village. He organized a search party and the kids talk about him all the time. 
Oh, him. He's like an older, older brother to them. We've treated him like family since he arrived in the village a few years ago. According to him, like Eotham, he doesn't have any family, so he sees this place as his real home. Eotham also sees him as his actual big brother. Paimon gets it. If you two stayed in Vimara village, I know they'd be very happy to have another two big sisters. Oh, no thank you. We have a twin brother that we are looking for. Like I said before, if it's possible, I hope that you can join the ranks of the Watchers, and we will patrol together. What do you think? Well, I'm actually traveling to find someone. You briefly explained the reason for your travels to Rana. Okay, unknown god twin brother, Gon Mondstadt. I see, I understand. I understand how you feel, Kaido. I also had a friend who was very dear to me, vanish out of nowhere. But they... Well, that's not important. The blonde boy you're looking for, I feel like I've heard about him somewhere before. Let me think. Um, nope, I can't remember. I'm sure someone told me a story about a blonde boy before, just like gold and called Anara or something. A pilot feels like Rana's memory isn't too good. That's what happens when you grow up. There's no need to forge yourself, Rana. Paimon hopes the kids in Vawara village are doing okay. Well, I'm very happy that I, that I could meet the two of you. I'm sure the children feel the same way. Don't say that. It just makes me more worried that something might happen to you later in the story. You're not only skilled but also kind. And I'm so moved that you would worry about my little brothers and sisters in Vamara village. I'll keep an eye out for the person you're looking for. Then, when you finish your journey, come to Samaru. We can patrol the forest together. <gasps> you really want me to join you, huh? Let's put a pin in that for now. Okay, but think about it. If only I could have met you and Paimon earlier. I mean, uh, it's so hard to it's so hard to reject your offer. <laughs> You're making Paimon blush. Uh, I think she's asleep. She can even sleep while sitting upright. Is this some special training force watchers get? She must be exhausted. Looks like Rana doesn't have her stamina. Do you want to take a rest, Akainu? Yeah, I'm gonna have a little nap too. Sleep well. Oh. Okay, that was a lot of reading. Oh, okay, that's a nice view of the stars and... I'm not sure which galaxy we're looking at, but... Okay, that's the sun. I just know, Animal Lumen, weak. Geo Lumen, better but weak. Electro Lumen, very weak. Dendro Lumen, god tier. I, I think I've only ever tried Animal Lumen, although I have I have tried a bit of Geo and Electro Lumen, but not in any capacity that helped me in progressing through the game. Dendro Lumen, I think at some point in Sumeru, while I don't have a, another Dendro character, there will come a time when I will have to depend on her, but right now, I don't want to make space for Lumen. Dendro Traveler, very useful. Yep, um... Dendro Reactions are sort of necessary here in Sumeru. I think there there's an emphasis to given to Dendro Reactions, as opposed to the other elemental reactions from the other regions. There are hills and mountains close to your city. Where you take- you can take walk- oh nice! Close to mountains! The view from the mountains must be nice. Yeah, views from high up I really enjoy. You could sleep even while sitting upright. Not really, I just ate a lot and was feeling so relaxed that I just- <clears throat> Here's a little forest watcher trivia for you. When searching for a missing person in the forest, you want to feed them something that's easy to digest when you find them. Digestion, digestion consumes stamina, that's why you feel sleepy easily after eating. Or at l Oh! That makes sense! That's why I always feel sleepy during lunchtime. Or at least that's what the academia researchers say. Like your body... Your body spends energy to convert the food into energy? Akaido, Akaido, Paimon, have you rested? You worked so hard yesterday. Ugh. I am burping a lot for some reason. We stopped like babies. No need, I feel great. Yeah, don't worry about us. Are you sure? Okay then. Thank you so much for yesterday. I feel so much better now that you're here. 
Eh, you can count on a Kaido. Is there any work left to do today, Rana? Let me see. I think we're just about done here. Let's head back to Vimara Village. We can check in on the situation or on our way back. Okay, let's go. Fifty Fremo gems. Okay, but not enough to wish for Zhang Li. Return to Vimara Village. Oh, you're glad. Good thing there's. No, there isn't. Huh? You mean to say I haven't? There isn't any waypoint. So we're gonna walk there. Okay then. Sure, why not? I mean, we're as an Asian, we like walks. Both the activity and the cooking appliance walk, 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 walk. Walk. You know sometimes when you're in a humid place, especially at night at nighttime, there are big frogs that just go walk, walk. I'm so glad you both could come with me. Still, I need to report the expansion of the nearby Withering Zone to Tinari. Eh, is that the kid from Vinar Village? Eh? Iutem? Wait up! Is it Iutem or Ayutem? Or oh they um, do we have to? These are new types of enemies. Uh, the ear mites? Eremites? Pretty strong, actually. Oh, shoot, I froze myself. Dunya Zan had red flags, but she's still alive. Oh yeah, that is true. So just the game will make us worry about them. But the thing is, we have... How many? How many special, really special world quests have we gone through where the featured NPC passed on in some way or form? We had, especially in Azuma, there were plenty. There's three, I think three off the top of my head. Kazari... Ah, uh, okay. Um, spoiler alert, but I, I just said it. Kazari, um, Tepe, and Rue. The little kid. Oh, the frick! Where are you people? Don't get in our way. That surprised me. Why are they just following us? Hmm. I should be asking you that question. I'm a forest watcher here, and I'm in the middle of searching for a missing child. State your names. It's the Fatui. Where did they come from? Uh, Shneshnaya, I should assume. Huh, so these are the Fatui f that Alfonso mentioned. State your business. Alfonso. Whatever, whatever. Don't think you'll be getting out of here without a fight. Well, looks like we're not gonna be able to talk this one out. Gotta go to- got to go to work. Have fun with the rest of your stream. Bye-bye. You Thank you, Better Joe, for stopping by and for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care and good luck with your work. Ah. What the frick? The will has no chill. No, can't hit out. I hate these fire musket wielding. Is it even a musket? This is hardly the time to be climbing. Okay. Am I tired yet? Um, nope. I'm getting a bit of a headache on the on my forehead, on the front side of my head. But otherwise, fine. It's because I've been reading a lot aloud. Yeah, I read, I read, but I don't read aloud. Thank goodness you were here, Akaido. And for some reason, reading aloud is pretty tiring. You fought well. Really? <laughs> Probably because you and my member by my side. Looks like Alfonso wasn't kidding. These Fatui guys are dangerous. 
Anyway, we can talk more about that later. Ethan must be somewhere deeper in the cave. We better get moving. Is it about time we get to see those Aranara? Aranara. Wow, this place big. This place is big. How many places in Sumeru are like this? The only problem is... Uh, you have to go a specific path to reach this place. Proceed deeper. Red. Use Booba Sword. Booba Sword. Like the Pokemon? Booba Sword? <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm saving. Yeah, for some reason, I always save. Right in Ace Burst. Until I I want the the circle on her back to be full. Because it's more powerful the more bursts you do first. Eat them. What happened? Well, Rana. Uh, oh, that's um, that's the RNR right in the, at the back. And the Kaido. Huh? What are you doing in a withering zone? And there's so many monsters. Uh, I'll take care of this. What's that green thing? That traveler is called a plant. They grow on the ground. No, there's no time. Darn it, Akaido, let's do this together. Okay, um, you have them wait here and don't move. We're coming to rescue you. Ah! Uh... Why is it so hard to reach this? Stop flying! Okay, vaporize. You know what? I should just clear the wither, the withering first. Not clear it. Okay, clearing them summons more monsters. I made the I made a very wrong decision to do that. Boot out! Stop shooting those dark orbs at me. Any more? Last one. Yay! Uh, also, we finally see an Aranara. Uh, uh, finally. Wait a minute, so Aranara. There's got to be a reason why Rana's name is Rana. It's probably derived from Aranara. Was she raised by Aranara? Rana. Uh. You, them, it's okay, little man. There's nothing to cry about. Look, if I can tell them about what I felt in the Withering Zone, to those academia researchers, they'll be able to take care of the withering for good. And did you see me fight? No. Did you see a Kaido fight? Be sure to thank her. Run. Please, that's it. Oh yeah! It, they, she shouldn't be fighting within withering zones. That's hazardous. I'll go get help. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I just feel a little dizzy, that's all. And a little tired. Rana, I'm sorry. What are you talking about? You're my little tiger. So no more crying. You're okay, aren't you? Does anything hurt, Yatham? Do you feel dizzy, weak, or... I'm fine, Rana, but you... 
It's nothing. I'll be fine. I'm a battle-hardened forest watcher after all. Let's go. Anyway... So where's that cabbage person? Cabbage? Return to Vimara village. Ah. Uh, so that was just a tease. Oh yeah, we need to... Can we electro this? Yay! Make sure your bar doesn't get full. Oh, the red one. Um, Is that, I think, a corruption? Corruption meter? I didn't pay attention to that. I'll be lurking in a bit. Okay, I need to do something, but I'll be back later. Alright, Natalie. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Good luck with what you're gonna do. Take care. I'm sorry, Akaido Paimon. Uh, I need to rest. Uh, wait for me at them. Hana, are you really okay? We'll go get help. No, no, it's fine. Um, I just need a little rest. I'm sorry, Rana. I'm sorry. Really? How many times do I have to say it? I'm fine. But I am very angry. You promised me that you won't go into the forest. Once I'm all rested up, I'll teach you a lesson about breaking promises, you little rascal. Oh, Alfonso said that the mushrooms here are huge. And I just wanted to bring you some fresh mushrooms to eat to give you energy. Dummy, you didn't need to do that. Just thinking of you guys gives me energy. Still... The mushrooms here really are huge. They definitely taste great in a curry. Did Alfonso let you come here? No, Alfonso told me not to go running off, but I wanted to give Rana something tasty to eat, so I... Alfonso wouldn't do that. He's, he is Iotham's big brother. Paimon understands, but Iotham, how did you get stuck in the withering zone? When I saw... When I was in the forest, I thought someone was following me. Uh, I got scared. I thought it was Marana's avatar. So I just kept running. And I end up running into Marana. Huh? Marana? Oh yeah, I, I, I said Marana just like we were supposed to know who Marana is. Marana? That's the Withering. Oh yeah, the Withering. Marana's avatar. Uh-huh, it does bad things in the world for Marana. It's a big black thing. Marana? What a strange name. Hmm. How did I know that Marana is the Withering? Dang it, everything's spinning. Iotham, what was that green thing just now? Like I said, that's a plant. It's all around us. Sumeru. That was Ararakalari. It can protect people from the corrosion of Marana. More and more things I don't understand. This is... A uh, kind of forest magic. It's also a kind of music. It's an ara ara. It's an ara. What is it? Don't worry about that, Rana. You need to rest. It's on the tip of my tongue, but. I'm sorry, Rana. I'm sorry. I'll never run off like that again. I'll be good and stay home. I know. You'll become smart, healthy, and you'll know right from wrong. It's just like knowing with which mushrooms you can eat and which you can't. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Know that Marana is bad and the forest is good. Become a strong and good person. Help people who need help. Just like Akaido. Why does it feel like she's saying goodbye to us? And don't forget, the forest will remember. Uh, this is bad. Paimon thinks Rana's condition is getting worse. I'll go get help. Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. Really, I just need to rest for a little while. Akairu, please, take Yutem back for me. We're not gonna leave you here. Okay, let's go, Yutem. Don't move, Rana. We'll be right back. Are you seriously gonna leave her here? Oh, please take care. Because I have Huta here with me. So we're prepared, but I don't want to think of the worst outcome. Man, the, this kid sure love Rana so much to do. 
to do Ricky those dangerous things. I mean, just for a mushroom. And the kid passed by this one. This is a big mushroom. But then he, st he didn't want this. He was still looking for a much bigger mushroom. Escort Ethan back to Vimara village. But where is Ethan? I guess Ethan is following us by spirit. Teleport. Uh, oh yeah, wait. Do we have a nearby waypoint? Nearest one. We actually do. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. Saves us the time at least. I might sound heartless for this, but I never cried watching the final do it in Omori. Maybe you're just more emotionally mature, or you can handle your emotions much better. Aki, on the other hand, oh boy, Aki. I think Aki cried a lot during Final Duet in Omori. It was a really, really special cutscene. Like, it's the culmination of all the sadness and joy and everything else in Omori. Aka was going <laughs> gonna walk that far, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was what I was planning to do. Why? Huh? Hello? Why are there two Alfonso? Am I seeing things? Alfonso, Alfonso? Um, do you have a keyhole behind your back? Why are there two? Alfonso? Huh? What the f- Eotham, why are you- and Kaido? It's urgent, so we'll make this quick. You quickly explain what happened, but okay, but to which Alfonso? There were two of them. I see. Eotham, you go rest up. Okay, I'm sorry Alfonso. It's fine, what matters is that you're okay. Wait here a moment, Akaro. I'll go with you as soon as I prepare some medicine. There's no time! This is the location, head there, head there as soon as you can. Yeah, we have to hurry back to look after Rana. Eh, uh, wait. There were two Alfonsos, right? Your pursuit takes you back inside the cavern. Oh, thank goodness. We don't have to walk there. Because there's no waypoint back there. There is a waypoint back to Vimar village, but no waypoint back to the cavern. Also, why was there two Alfonso? Alfonsos. Go to where Rana. Okay, Rana, please be alive when I get to you. This will be very anticlimactic for you to just suddenly die or dis disappear, I'll take that, because that means you're either dead or alive. She's gone! Eh? I was sure this was, this was the place. Rana, can you hear Paimon? Rana! No answer. Darn it, what happened? Hmm. These traces. We'd better follow them. Maybe they're clues left for us by Rana. Oh, I sure do hope there aren't any more withering zones here that she encountered. I would hope Rana had gotten better and walked off on her own. Yeah, but if she had gotten better, why would she walk deeper into the cavern and not outside towards Vimara village? Muaru, oh Muaru, welcome to the stream. Alfonso, is very. I'm not sure if that's a bug, a glitch in the matrix, or is there? That's probably a glitch, right? I mean, there can't be two Alfonso's there and. They didn't address it in the cutscene. Uh, the trail ends here. Ah, there. Oh, a camp! <gasps> She's being incubated. Eh? This looks like the thing that protected Ethan earlier. Wow, it looks like a sensory deprivation tank. Rana! Hey, Rana, can you hear Paimon? What's going on here? Could it be the Ara thing Yutem and Rana were talking about? What was it called again? Ara. Ara Rakalari. Ara Rakalari. Ah, yes, right, that was it. Paimon thinks they said it could resist the, mar the Maronic corrosion or something. Yes. No. Oh. 
Hi! Are we just okay just suddenly hello? Yes, Nara's smart. Ararakalari can resist Marana. Whoa! Ugh. Is it this the thing that we saw before? Vegetable. <laughs> Not vegetable. Arana. Arana is friend. Aranara. Aranara? Eh? Did you say Aranara? Now that Pyme is really looking at you, Pyman thinks we really have seen you before. Arana. Pyman thinks we heard this name when Ethan was telling that story before. Yes. Oh, they're floating too. Okay, then they are full of surprises. How does this work? Yes, Nara Iatem is Arana's friend. Aranara are children of the forest. We live with trees. Not like you, Nara Akaido. You are the child of Dandelion, always traveling. How do you know Akaido's name? How Arana knows not important, but Arana wants to help Narana. This is very important. Narana, that's almost a tongue twister. What do you need me to do? Thank you, you good Nara. She is Arana's very important friend, so Arana will protect her. But that is not enough. To heal Narana, we need Bija. Bija? Nara, Nara Akaido must go to Vanaran, Vanara, Vanarana and ask, and ask everyone to help get Bija. Um, what's that? Narana got corroded by Marana. Very serious. But bugs are biting tree root. But bad bugs are biting tree roots. Trees will wither. Fruits will rot. Nara's life is like tree. Bad bugs like Marana. Only Bija can make Narana better. Um, so we need to go somewhere called Vanarana and come with a way to get this Bija, right? Then we can heal Rana? Mm hmm. Then Rana's current condition. No worry, Arana will be here and fight Marana Corrosion, so Rana will not get worse. But with no Bija, Rana will not get better either. Follow the forest path, keep going towards where water comes from, then you will reach Vanarana. Then sing! Sing? A melody is rising up in my mind. Is it... Da 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 this is the rhythm of the great dream. Sing it to enter Vanarana. Enter our dreams, our world. Okay, never mind. Mm -mm. You, WQO, hello! Lost Riches is out, didn't notice. Yep, uh, it's another Sealy event. We get the opportunity to get a green Sealy this time. A mini Sealy. But I'll probably do that after I do the Aranara. Aran Aranyaka world quest. Barbara, yep, it's Barbara. Hello, you, Dokio. Welcome to the stream. Good evening. That is Barbara. That is like. Alright, we can always sing the Hilichol song. Utah's Hilichol song. I wonder if that. That will. That won't be any different. But do we really have to sing? What if it attracts a Whopper flower? Well, I think using a musical instrument works too. Hmm, it's worth a try. Let's return to Vimara Village and see if Grandpa Amadia has one. I mean, we do have an instrument, right? We have the drums and the Aranyaka Part 2, Dream Nursery. Dream Nursery. Okay, this is just one quest out of a chain of Aranara quest chains. Alright, back to Vimara Village then. Finally after two hours. You mean to say this is just part two? This is we're only in part two? How many parts are there? Wait, part two out of forty-two parts? What? <laughs> you guys said was it forty-two or forty-six quests? You mean to say this is just the second one? Are you for real? I th I don't think I can do Oh, grandpa! I need an instrument. Hello? I we can't talk to you. Uh Okay, never mind. Gah. This quest is long. This part especially. Uh, the nursery. This one in particular. That's fine. Wait a second. You mean to say this is the grandpa, but back here near the waypoint is also another grandpa. 
Did Hoyoverse... Did they not check this part of the game? There are duplicate models for the characters. So much like Alfonso before. What is going on? Um, I found... Or this village just full of twins? Grandpa, I saw your doppelganger back there. Amadia. Hi. Grandpa Amadia. Oh, Rana's friends. Unfortunately, Rana should be patrolling the forest today. I don't think he knows. Let's keep it. Let's keep it from him. Yeah, we know. We're here to ask if you have a musical instrument that you can lend us. A musical instrument? Um, give me a minute. I will go get it. Oh, very accommodating. Thank you. It looks like a Mondstadt style instrument. Oh, a lyre. Grandpa Mania, can you lend it to us? A very, very long time ago, I met a bard in the forest. She gave me this lyre as a keepsake. Dreams of the garden, memories of the forest. The pomegranate sings, the apples clap. What a beautiful tune. I'll lend it to you. Use it to light up the darkness in the forest, and perhaps it'll reach her ears. We'll take good care of it. Yeah, we'll return it to you, Grandpa Amadia. Thanks! There are 46 quests. Oh, it's okay. Quests specifically, not 46 parts. Because I'm gonna get really worried if there are 46 parts. Go to where Vanar... Vanar... Vanarana is. Vanarana. You sing... Oh, are we supposed to swim there? Hold up. Where? Oh, okay, we do need to ride a wave rider. Yep, 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 I should have summoned that. Let me go back there. I didn't realize there was a path directing us to that place. Swordfish! <gasps> it's an easter egg from our time in Inazuma. This is the swordfish and this red fish is Tepe. Nice! Steer! Steer! Why am I so bad at controlling a boat? Ah, the music is so good by the way. But... What we're doing is very urgent. We need to save Rana. So it's true then. Rana... Is a friend of the Aranara. But she just can't remember. Since she became an adult. What the hell? Power transform. Ah! 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 We can feel- finally see Aka play. Oh, is this part in particular, um, difficult? Is this the puzzle part? What if Paimon is the first god or the last god because she has the attributes of god because she controls time? That is one of the theories that I've read before. Paimon is the god of time or is the archon of time. And one east one clue for that is because whenever we access Paimon menu, time seems to stop within Genshin. Like it's sort of like a meta reason for that. I think it's, yep. So this is Paimon menu and whenever Paimon I appears Time stops for everyone. I'm not sure if that's just um, that's just a rumor, but that would be a very, a very interesting reason why. Um, hold up. Seems like. 
All right, we we're close. But before that, I'm gonna activate the waypoint here. There we go. Five Primo Gems. Here. Ah, not yet. Still need to go deeper into the forest. Lots of enemies in here. Okay, got lots of enemies. Lots of enemies. Raw meat. That's a lot of drops. Three meat. Okay. But they're not particularly strong. Wait, for every... For every... For every one that we defeat... We get three meat? They are very generous. Hmm. Try rolling now, Alka. Rolling for another Zhongli. Do we have enough Primo gems? Let me see. We have 143. Uh, we need 17 more. 70 more Primo Gems. Maybe if I can unlock more chests and... Wait, what? Where did they come from? Yeah, I miss Yanfei a bit, but I re I am really liking Hutao noises. It's a nice change of pace because um, I've already spent such a long time with Yanfei. I still like Yanfei better though, but yeah, Hutao noises is really good. Did I unlock a chest? No chest here. Oh, sleeping. All right, chest here. There we go. Five Primo Gems. Our destination is very far. Oh, another waypoint! That means another five Primo Gems. We are really scraping- oh, this is- whoa. This place looks so cool, but it feels like we've- it's like a big... No, it feels like we got smaller. Because of what the, this place looks like. It looks like Minish Cap! It looks like Zelda Minish Cap! Getting close, but I wonder 
I wonder how we just got into this village because I'm pretty sure this is where the Aranara lives. But how did we just get into here? You'd think it to be pretty well hidden. But here they are. This place is like a village. Akairu, do you remember the small stone houses we saw while camping with Rana? Small and round. They're all over th this place. It's like a kingdom for little people. Like you, Paimon? If this is Vanarana that Arana told us about, it should be home of the Aranara. But there's no one here. Hmm, are they hiding from us? Maybe Arana's June will do the trick. Alright, just like she said. Huh? What was it? Was it the rhythm of the great dream? Paimon thinks so. Enter our dreams, our world. <clears throat> I'll start now. Hmm. What if singing attracts a whopper flower? Let's just play the musical instrument instead. Oh, Paimon can't wait for both Akaito's performance and the world of Aranara. Okay, tutorial time. Ah. <laughs> These strange arches are known as the phantasmal gates. Complete the challenges within and perhaps something good will happen. Waiting for something to happen? Play Arana's song on the vintage lyre in front of the phantasmal gate to awaken it. After this, enter the arch to undertake the challenges. During a challenge, you must collect all phantasmal seeds and return to the phantasmal gate within the time limit. Oh shoot, it's a time attack. If you are hit by attacks from opponents during this time, the time allotted to you for the challenge will decrease. <clears throat> I, I know a challenge like this back in Zelda. It's like the... Anyway, there's a, uh, uh, there's a quest like this in Zelda Skyward Sword. After you have entered the Phantasmal Gate, certain special dream flowers will appear. Standing within the barrier that these flowers project will cause opponents to forget your existence and allow you to exit combat. Additionally, activating these dream flowers with Electro will allow them to mark the location of the remaining Phantasmal Seeds for you, but this will also undo the effects of the barrier. Oh. Okay, so if we're having trouble finding them, we just have to use the Electro on those dream flowers. But I think that's essential. We have to be fast since it's time attack. Okay then, how do we play? Play the, the, the rhythm of the great dream. Uh-huh. Do I have to equip the, the lyre? Okay, let me check my achievements first. Might have enough for a wish. Nope. It's just the one. Uh, waiting for Mari to happen? Uh, the something. Yep, it's the something. I am in pain. <laughs> I am in pain. Vintage liar. Oh, it's okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Freaking idiot. There. Ah, uh, and it's not. It's not. We don't have to get the correct sequence. Ah, uh, uh, but we do have to restart if we got it wrong. But we don't have to play in tune. We just have to get the correct notes in sequence. Okay then. Or the ocarina. I got to go to sleep. Bye. Bye bye. Legion, good night. Take care and sweet dreams. Thank you for watching. Now we can enter the gate. Uh, now we can enter the gate. Trial of the Phantasmal Gate. So we have to find those things while also avoiding enemy attacks. Okay then. And by going in this, we hide our presence. Right? That's how I understood it. One. So there are 15. 
Oh boy, this is this is kind of stressful. Not gonna lie, because where are they? And the place is so big. Okay, we need to hit Electro. It didn't actually say where. Fifteen. So are there exactly 15 or we just need to collect 15 that are scattered around the map? Because I would think a minute and 30 seconds is- Ah! And I got it! 30 seconds minus?! Bit unforgiving! That's a bit unforgiving! Oh no! Collecting one resets the timer! Okay, okay, I understand. Collecting one resets the timer. That's, I think, good enough. We have 13. I need two more. Oh heck, where are those two? So that means the timer is... We have 1 minute and 30 seconds just to find one. Just to find... Return to the Phantasmal Gate to complete the trial. Yep. This really reminds me of... Skyward Sword for some reason. Oh, and we got a precious chest for that. Ten primo gems. Okay, we should have enough for one... One wish. If it's gonna be Zhongli or not, I'm not sure. Probably not. I'm not betting on Zhongli. But we still hope for the best, right? Mm, nope. Uh, how much pity am I at? I'm around 50? Hold on, let's count again because I failed to count properly earlier. They ch I think they changed the pages into just to showing just 5 wishes instead of 6. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, uh, exactly 50 pity because Jean was the last five star that I got so we have we are exactly 50 pity 50 pity 50 pity pity 50 pity 50 50 pity 50 pity 50 pity 50 pity 50 pity 50 pity play the rhythm of the great dream in front of the strange stone 49 actually oh since the five star isn't counted Aww. <laughs> so we have 49. Jean isn't counted. Fa mi so fa do. The game stop. Oh no. Hmm. You'll be hearing this a lot. So it's, at least it's just the same tune over and over again. Oh, that's what you meant. That's what you meant by that. From a previous stream, I'm gonna be hearing that a lot. That's it's taking a while to load. Oh, and Aranara! Yay, don't capture me! I'll give Nara a tracer! What's a tracer? Anyway, we won't capture you, don't be afraid. This is Paimon, and she is a Kaido. We're good, Nara. What's your name? Uh, you're, you're good, Nara? Great! Hmm. It was an Arana who taught you that tune, right? I'm Arama. Arana may trust both of you, but everyone here is very scared seeing Nara in Vanara Vanarana. Are you aren't you afraid as well? I was afraid, but the golden Nara has been to many places. The tiny dandelions and spores with you are all saying that you are very, very good Nara. 
Oh, r and can communicate with plants, even spores? Spores aren't plants. Nara Akaido understands. Paimon is wrong. If you say that loudly in the forest, plants will be sad, and spores will be angry and might even turn into fungi. Ah, let's not fuzz over the details, shall we? Anyway, is, it, is this Vanarana? It feels so similar to the place where we found the treasure, but it is slightly different. It does have a huge rock house, but feeling a little disappointed? It isn't what Paimon expected. Paimon thought Vanarana would be a lively Aranara village, where everyone would be dancing Aranara dances, eating Aranara food, completing Aranara commissions, and... And Aranara Catherine? Paimon's thought didn't run that wild. Everyone's in Vanarana, but because everyone's afraid, we still can't let both of you inside, even if Nara Akaido is golden. Golden? Is it rare? What about silver? Is silver rare? Silver just like the moon. Very good. Very good. <laughs> so, like the moon. Is this a clue for Paimon's origins? So here isn't Vanarana? This isn't Vanarana. Ah, actually, this is Vanarana, but not real Vanarana. So is it Vanarana or not? If you help Aranara, everyone won't be afraid, and you can enter the real Vanarana. Come with me, help Aranara, and get the tracer. It feels like every dialogue is a tongue twister. <laughs> Paimon gets it now. You mean treasure. Sure, we'll help you. Alright, what do we need to do? Um, help the Aranara. Okay, a bit vague. Hearing that makes Paimon wonder if that treasure really exists. Golden Nara. I wonder what that means, Golden Nara. I assume they call Lumen Golden because of her hair color. She's blonde. Okay, oh, there's a Statue of the Seven somewhere here. I cannot locate it. It's probably above us. Need to go there first. Um, can I call? Ah, there we go. There you are. Oh, very hidden. Vanarana, but not the actual Vanarana. See, so I don't know what to believe anymore. Teleport waypoint unlocked. Nice. Help the Arana. Oh, okay, we need to fight. I sure do hope pirate characters are still welcome here, since they do ruin the vegetation. Stop flying! Alright, uh, oh, that's one already. That was fast. Next is. This is our Garu's home. Big rocks are bad. Nara Akaido, can you break the rock? There you go. So it's various tasks, not just get rid of the enemies. <laughs> what was that? What the hell was that? It's a Beyblade! Stop flying! Gotta be an easy way to. There we go. 
Oui, oui, oui. Oui. Wutao's skill doesn't last that long. Go to the place that Arama mentioned. Okay then, we've completed tasks, although we did create destruction on our path. Vanagni, be careful. Even if you talk to them, their only response is rage and shooting flames. So a firebender. What? It's just a whopper flower. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous. Let's leave before the Vanagni notices. It's nothing. Anyway, don't worry, Arama. We'll help, right? We'll help, right, Akaido? Since it's for Rana. Yeah, we have to get into Vanarana as soon as possible to help Rana. Oh, be careful, Nara Akaito. I mean, what makes this specific Whopper flower special? Ah, wait, 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 wait. So good. There, okay, one dies, another one pops out. Wait a minute, this is a den, there's so many of them! Oh, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting more to pop out. I want to understand what Silapna means. Silapna. Silapna? That sounds like the name of a fish. Okay, we're back here. We're gonna play the tune again, aren't we? Alright, we've helped. So where's the treasure, Arama? Isn't treasure the incantation to make Nara help? Why isn't Paimon surprised at all? Ah, we were tricked! Did you really think Arama prepared treasure for us? Anyhow, how did you learn to use the word treasure like that, Arama? I observed Nara. I've noticed that they become very good and very willing to help other Nara once they hear the word treasure. Yeah, we are very greed motivated. Some Nara become bad for treasures. Nara like Paimon would fall for it. Hey, treasures are great! Don't look down on treasures. Treasure and food. Paimon's two trigger words. Hmm, I see. I've learned a lot. Thank you, Nara Akaido and Paimon. Why do they not call Paimon Nara Paimon? You're amazing. You're good Nara who help Aranara. Now, no one will be afraid to let you enter Varana Vanarana. You, you can enter Vanarana by playing Arana's tune in front of Silapna. Aranara are afraid of fire, that's why. Oh. I see. Hmm. That's good to know. I'm gonna stay as Hutao for a while. But they'll still protect the forest with their body when it's on fire. They'll sacrifice themselves. Like the... Oh my god. That's... Is that something that I need to be worried about later? So these are... Well, they are the children of the forest. 
do anything to protect. Here's this tune again. Fa me so fa do. It seems like the same place, but... Oh, Paimon gets it. It feels completely different. Since we've arrived in Banarana, it's time to get a Vija and help Rana. Vija, I see. Anyway, this is the real Vanarana. Or to be more precise, it's... Okay, I'm, I, let me try pronouncing this. Mahavanaranapna. Mahav, Mahavanaranapna. 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 Ooh, what? It's a long name and there's so many A's. But we usually don't use its full name because it's too long. If explained in Nara's language, uh, I know it's Vanarana of Great Dreams. Dreams? Speaking of which, we met in Aranara where the researcher where the researcher was. Um a uh, Hypasha. They were they were talking about Hypasha. And Akado seems to have had a dream. That's the Vanarana we just saw exists. That the Vanarana we just saw exists in reality. Hmm, it's a story from very, very long ago. I wasn't even a seed then. I was still in a slumber in Sarva, but after Vanarana was destroyed once, we started living in this dream. Huh, an interesting past. It's very scary. I heard even the sky turn black. Trees swayed like grass on a field under strong winds, and they fell to the ground. And then very, very scary monsters were everywhere. Luckily, they are all stories, not memories. Anyway, if you wish to leave Vanarana's dream, sing the rhythm of the great dream in front of Silapna, and it's the same to return here. Come with me, Araja will find a way to get you a Bija. Araja's in the house over there. Over where? Hi! Uh, they... I... I've heard you hate fire. I really feel bad. I was planning earlier to set the grass on fire, but never mind. You guys, the Aranara, they, they, they're peaceful creatures. I don't want to harm them. I don't want to bring harm into them, even as a joke. Ara Prabhu, Ara Prabhu. They are the connection to humans and trees after all. After all. Hmm. Don't hurt the Aranara. I won't. I changed my mind. They need to be protected. Hello. Araja. Oh, Anara. I haven't seen one in so long. So tall and golden, just like he said. Welcome to Vanarana, just like who said? Yes, Nara, Akaito, and Poimon. They're amazing. They're not even scared of Vanagni. Whoa, amazing. No, I need, I need to drink water. Arana's tune to get into Vanarana are definitely good Naro, whom Arana trusts. That's strange. How do all of you know that it was Arana who guided us here? Every Aranara has their own tune, and every tune is different. That's how we know who's home. Arana has been making friends with Nara in Avidya Forest and Ar Ardravi Valley, so I haven't seen her for a long time. We heard her tune and thought that it was her. We were very happy. But it was Anara who entered Vanarana, and it scared us all, so I asked for Arama's help to tell everyone that Nara Akaito is a good Nara. 
Oh, Paimon gets it now, but according to Arama, the problems we solved were outside the dream. Was that even helpful? Helpful? Helpful to Ma... Ma... Mahavana... Ah, Arunaran's names are so difficult. Mahavana Ratnatna? I didn't pronounce that right. Mahavana Ranatna. Mahavana Ranatna. The Venerana in dreams is a shadow of the Venerana outside. So things will get better here now that you've dealt with the problems outside. Thank you. Oh, <clears throat> let's get down to business. Akaido, about Rana. We need a Bija. We need the Bija to help a very important friend of Arana. She's a very important friend of ours too. Bija. The last time I prepared the Vija was a long time ago. I heard the Golden Nara and Aramu, Aramu Hukunda were still here then. I had so many stories and so many dreams then, it was so long ago. Looks like Aranja is about to start telling a story. Let's see what Aranja says. Okay, I want to hear the story but at the same time we want to be urgent. But knowing Genshin, though we were given two different choices, it's just gonna lead to the same dialogue option. It's urgent, we don't have time to waste. Those stories don't belong to my memories anymore, and I shouldn't be the one to tell you them. Let's put our focus back on the Bisha. Rana has been seriously harmed by Marana. She needs a Bisha as soon as possible. Arana is a very, very old Aranara, who is Arakalari, is very, very powerful, so Narana's condition won't worsen. As for the Bisha, you're right, Narana's condition will be stable with Arana there. However, don't forget that Nara are not trees. Oh yes, they are. In the Philippines, they are trees. They have less time and it's easier for them to get hurt. Right? Since Nara, Akaido, and Paimon are friends with Arana and they all have the same wish, we should help them. We'll leave it to you. We'll do our best, but we also need Nara, Akaido, and Paimon's help to form a Bija. We are going to hold the festival Utsava. But Maria, many Aranara are still lingering in the forest. Now that you have the, the scent of Vanarana, you'll be able to approach them. Tell them it's time to return. Can we really relax like this? Aranja, you mentioned that Nara don't have much time, so shouldn't we get the Bija as soon as possible? Nara Akaido, Paimon. According to the stories of the Bija, in order to form a Bija that's healthy, strong, and filled with energy, a festival at Sava is absolutely necessary. Regardless of the sorrow we carry, energy for the Bija can only be accumulated if the Nara friends of the Aranara and the Aranara friends are Nara celebrated festival at Sava together. I did not understand what I just read. Where did we do that again? <laughs> Regardless of the sorrow we carry, energy for the Bija can only be accumulated if the Nara friends if the Nara friends of Aranara and the Aranara friends of Nara celebrate festival at uh, Tsava together. Right? <gasps> it's a tongue twister. Oh my god. Get, it, I don't know if Mihoyo, if Hoyoverse enjoyed writing this or they were as confused as I am when they wrote uh, all right it's not very convincing but just like how unbelievable arakalari is maybe it's a, an ara ceremony or ara festival ah if we were going to celebrate festival at sava we must get everyone back a little while ago arapandu and some others went to appa woods besides that aranakin aranakin and some others should be around ganda hill everyone i'm sure you're not afraid of nara Arkaido and paimon anymore so why don't you try becoming friends? I had a Nara friend once, and those memories are still very dear to me. Besides that, you must get a few Vasoma fruits for the Vazara trees and Ashvata's concourses. Three of them should be enough. Ashvata, Vasara tree, Vasoma... But I haven't been able to leave the dream for a long time, and I don't remember where Ashvata's concourses are. I'll leave the finding to Arama and Nara Akaito. An adventure with Nara Akaito and Paimon. An adventure with Arama. Speaking of which, with ins the incident in Vimara village is also very concerning. Can we ask other Aranara to find out who's trying to harm the children there? Oh my. It sounds like something old Marana's avatar is capable of. They aren't stopping with Aranara and are even harming little Nara. If it's around Vimara village, I did see Arar... Arar... Ar I need... Uh, <sighs> 
I did see Ararishan, Ararikan near Devantaka Mountain a few suns and moons ago. He was investigating something bad. It may be linked to the bad Nara that Nara, Akaida, and Paimon are looking for. Ah, that's right. Our Nara are very elusive so that they may they may have seen something suspicious. Besides that, we may have many other questions. And about the Vasama fruit. The Vasama fruit is a fruit filled with dreams and energy. Of course it does. It isn't as powerful as the Bija, but it's amazing too. A Bija can be for by feeding. <gasps> I'm kidding. Uh, is it possible to get motion sickness just by reading? Because I feel like that's what I'm getting. A Bija can be formed by feeding a Vasoma fruit to the Ashvada tree. It's a great tree planted by Greater Lord Rukadavera, Rukadevada, and its origin of Aranara. About Maranara's avatar. Yeah, Paimon was wondering about that one too. Ethan mentioned something similar. It's a story from very long ago. A long time ago, Aranara walked the earth and made friends with Nara and all living, living creatures. There was no Marana then, until a disaster that occurred many, many moons ago. Where the Lord Rukadevata returned Sarva, and Marana's rampage through the earth began. Once the forest recovered its vitality, the Aranara hid the real Manarana in a dream to protect themselves. Hmm, so that's when Marana came into existence. The forest didn't know death until a day came when the trees realized that withered flowers and dead animals covered the earth. On the same day, the earth remembered the dark, poisonous blood it had once devoured, or was about to devour. The rivers thought of the descent of the sun, evaporating all water and leaving a red world behind. They realized that all things would meet their end, and so Marana was born. It is the name of death, and those who know it shall die. Marana urges everything towards death, as for, as for the tall, dark, and warped things, they are the avatars chosen by Marana, the heralds of death. But that's why Ethan was afraid of the Fatui. They are all tall and they wear black. Of course, in my stories, Marana's avatar take many forms. Sometimes beasts, sometimes birds, sometimes Nara, sometimes blight. But stories are just stories and they aren't my memories. Hmm, let Paimon think of a moment. Uh, for a moment. Akairo, there's so much for us to do. I'm used to it. We must find Ashvata to get a va something, then go to Devantaka Mountain to look for Ara Rak Ararikan. Is that right? Then we have to find Arapandu in Apam Woods and Aranakin in Ganda Hill. Ah, Aranara names are so difficult. Nara, Kaida, and Paimon, this is for you. I've been observing. Nara must use this to remember. Otherwise, Nara memories will get messed up and won't be able to form a story. Is that an old notebook? Oh, it belonged to Nara Varuna. Maybe it's destiny that it go it's going to another golden Nara. Like Nara Akaido. Another golden Nara. <laughs> I knew it's Nara Varuna. Uh. Oh. Nara Varuna. Another golden Nara. He called it the Aranyaka. Because it's the stories of his adventures in the forest with us, Aranara, but those stories are lost. Aranyaka, so that's that's the first time I'm encountering Aranyaka. He called it the Aranyaka because it's the stories of his adventures in the forest with us, Aranara, but those stories are lost. Nara Akaido, I hope it'll be of help to you. I'm really I'm really looking forward to Festival Utsava. Uh there's so many things happening. Ugh. And reading all that is making me sleepy. Ugh. It's a good thing this isn't this isn't what we did during the endurance stream because oh man. Reading for twelve hours straight or more can get pretty tiring. Especially aloud. Now the fun part. Go to another golden Nara. Golden Nara. I just thought it says I've been under Golden Nara. Is that are they referring to Aether? Was Aether here before we before we got here? Well, I need to rest my eyes a bit. It's starting to hurt. Uh, I'm just gonna get something real quick. I'll be back. I'll be back in a minute. Uh. 
こののどかな時間がもっと増えると嬉しいのですが。さんが病気になったイルチャールのお姉さんが看病して。私とお茶しない？イヒヒ。Ah, all right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting for me. I needed something. I need a sugary treat to keep my brain alive. <clears throat> ah, Blaze, hello. Welcome back to the stream. How are you, Blaze? Ah, go to another golden hiss, hiss, a golden Nara, and they are referred to as him. But well, going by that, we can deduce that since the other gold, the only other golden Nara that we know of is Lumen. It could be Aether. Well, uh, they said another golden Nara. Also, the part of Forest will remember. Definitely referring to our sibling. Huh? Oh. Hmm. But in one way. Hello, Arapakati. Good. Good. That's good to hear, Blaze. Always take care and stay hydrated. Oh man, didn't know reading can take up so much energy. Well, in this case, reading aloud. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Arapakati. Oh, if it isn't the golden Nara. Alas. Arapakati not afraid. Nara Kaido is good Nara. Wait, so that means the other golden Nara is bad. Like Aether. Nara Akaido is good Nara, just like the Nara in the stories. Nara Akaido and Paimon have helped us a lot. Okay, Arapakati not afraid. Arapakati trusts Arama and the grass, leaves, and seeds all say you're a good Nara. Hello, Nara Akaido and Paimon. Hello, Arapakati. Actually, I'm bad. Hey, don't make that kind of joke. You good, Arapakati knows. Lots of winds. Brings lots of small seeds. They come to Vanarana with Nara. They say Nara Akaito is nice. Arama said something like that too. Speaking of which, seeds brought by winds. You mean like dandelion seeds? Or did the winds bring the seeds of those stories? Hmm? Nara Akaito is going to help Arana to form Abisha. So we will prepare for Festival Utsava together. Oh, Festival Utsava. Arapakati looks strange. Is anything troubling you? Arapakati's big brothers have not returned to Monorana. We siblings can't celebrate festival at Sava together if they don't return. I haven't seen Arakatora, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala in Vanarana for a very long time either. Never seen them after that incident. A very long time? How long is that? Many many moons ago, when the seedlings had just sprouted, but now they are already big trees, big enough to keep the rain of Aranara. It's seven Arapakatis tall! From seedlings to trees! Wow, that's a really long time. Are your brothers missing Arapakati? Missing? Is that the type of seed? Oh, so Nara's seeds are called missing! Amazing! 
I am so confused. It's like talking to small children. Nara are amazing. Nara Akairo must have many missings. Uh, that's not what we meant. It means you don't know where they are. Oh, not like that. Arapakati knows where Arakatora, Arasaka, Arapas, and Arafala are, but there's not missing. They have been training at Vanarana for a long, long time. Cooking training. Oh, cooking training. Paimon gets it. Sounds like something Paimon would be interested in. Hmm, Paimon is more interested in Kaido's cooking training. So what is this cooking training exactly? It happened in the last festival at Sava. Nara made lots of food for Aranara to try. So to make food for Nara in return in the festival at Sava, Arakatora and the others have been taking cooking training. Paimon can't wait any longer for this festival. I want to skip the dialogue so bad. I'm getting sleepy. They left Vanarana for cooking training to prepare for festival. I mean, it's not- I don't think this is important. It's just setting up the quest. Paimon, don't say that about Aranara names. You're gonna make the Aranara sad. Okay, okay, so how do we find them? They used to do cooking training in Vanarana, but they made lots of smoke, so Arapakati kicked them out. Everyone was so scared. Yeah, please just tell me what I need to do. <laughs> Oh, it's so long. I'm sorry. Can't take it anymore. I have done my best for the last almost three hours reading. I am breaking. <clears throat> but I'll still read some if there are blue highlights. Because that's the only thing we need to pay attention to. Anyway, let's go. Is it hard to talk in dialogues? Yep, there's so many things to keep track of and... So many new words, uh, I don't know. It's sort of, it's starting to get tedious. The way um, this arc, this world quest is presented. Because I get that there are going to be keywords for the r, &R but it feels like the, their dialogue is nothing but keywords. It's Arama and the Golden Nara. You are so tall, but the silver one by your side. Hmm? What about the silver one? We should... How should I put it? You must be able to squeeze into the narrowest tree hollows. How convenient. Well, based on Nara customs, we should be introduced... Uh, we should do introductions first. This is Nara Akaido and Paimon. This is Arakavi. You guys, shake hands. Uh... <sighs> I'm starting to yawn. How fascinating. I've heard a lot about Nara before, but this is the first time I've ever touched one. It's a very special feeling. It's been a long time since we lost Huss and Nara here. Many seeds have grown into- Yeah, yeah, enough. I'm starting. This is so dirty. Uh, Arana, it's been a while since we last met. Uh, it's so hard to keep up. It almost feels self-indulgent that the dialogues are this long, but there's nothing of importance. I mean, there's a, there are a few few things, but not all of them. I know what Paimon means. Nara eat and look for treasures together. Then they know each other, right? It's not quite that simple either. As long as we know each other's stories, we know each other. This is because the Aranara's world is a place for songs and dreams. Arakavi is right. As long as we hear about Nara Akaido through songs and see what Nara Akaido looks like through dreams, it'll count as knowing you. Uh, good friends. We are good friends. Skip. Frick it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna skip. But, uh, it's because it now fails to capture my interest. Uh, it's okay you tried. Thank you, Python. Also, hello, welcome back. I don't know which 5 star you want. Uh, what should you, what should I be hoping for? For the current banner, um, it depends on the team that you have. 
As for me, oh, um, teams aside, since Tinari is going to be available in the standard ba banner anyway, might as well wish for Zhongli. Very well, nice to nice to have met you, Nara, Akaido, and Paimon. Encounter into woods, talk to Arakavi. What Paimon see? Is this an R and R painting? Who knows how many adventurers? <coughs> uh, uh, how many adventure camps and treasure chests we have rummaged through? Let's put it this way: we didn't see Aranara anywhere near the house, and we were worried, so we'd rather see if there were any leads. It might even help some trapped Aranara. You're right. Of course. Anyway, seems like the painting depicts some viewers near here, right? Uh, maybe it's a treasure map. I kind of wish to go to the spot shown in the painting. Maybe we'll find some treasure, treasure left by the, by the Aranara. Uh, check the book. The book that uh, was given to us earlier? Where is it? Ah, uh, is this one? Aranyaka. <clears throat> so the book, the Aranyaka is the book. Can we read it? Ah, that's a lot of. This is what we need to do? Or just uh, something to keep track of? It's like a treasure hunt or a guidebook for that. Oh. Oh. What time is it? It is 11, only 11. Oh, this world quest is draining. Woodland Encounter. Received this Aranyaka from Arama. I can jot down my recent adventures in the forest here, though I'm curious as to what this Nara Varuna person once recorded in it. Araja says that those stories have been lost. Might as well record some Aranara terminology here. The Aranara refers to humans as, Nar uh, as Nara. I did it. Ar Nara and add Nara to their names when addressing them. This may function on a similar principle in how the Aranara themselves are named, and their prefixes are rather difficult. With an Ara prefix, Mahavana Ranapna refers to the Vanarana, Van Vanarana as seen in dreams, while Silabna refers to the stone with runes on it. Vanagdi refers to flower flowers. From how Arama behaved, Aranara may find these creatures to be very frightening. This may confirm obli obli obliquely that the Aranara really are plant like. Aran Ararakalari seems to refer to Aranara abilities. Oh. <clears throat> am I having fun? I am feeling a bit neutral. Still fun. It's just going through all of these. Uh, I find a bit tedious now, since um, there's more reading than actual gameplay at this point, thanks to this world quest. Uh, and I'm starting to feel sleepy. Dream Nursery Arama and I helped a few Aranara, which allowed me smooth access to the true Vanarana and allowed me to meet Araja. There are some things I must do first to obtain the Bisha. Organize Festival Utsava. Look for and help a few Aranara in the forests. Some of them may be found in the following areas. Apam Woods, Ganda Hill, and the Vantaka Mountain. Obtain three Vasama fruits from the Vizara trees and the Sudava concourses. Arama and some other Aranara will help. Find Arapakati's brothers who are doing culinary training. Do Aranara, under do Aranara understand the concept of gender or family? Do you need to eat? Next one. Vimana Agama. Arama mentions that there is an Aranara at Devantaka Mountain. 
they may know about the bad guys active in Vimara village. Oh, so that's how... There are three separate quests for this. Uh... Mm. Right. How's the quest? Um, the dialogue, I'm starting to feel really tedious. I skipped some dialogue earlier because I just can't bring myself to read anymore. There's nothing important within it unless I'm missing something. I'm missing some details in the dialogue. But I feel like for the most part, it's just padding. So I'd rather just hop to get straight to the point. Uh, so I just finished the prologue, yep. Um, the one with... with... Rana. Okay. <clears throat> From the quest menu, what can we do now? Dream Nursery, this is the one that we should be doing. So, uh, the rhythm that reveals the beastly trail. According to Arakavi, Arayasa, Aradasa, and Arasudraka are looking for clues about Ashvata's concourses in the wild. Arama will meet up with them later, join them in the search for the concourses, for it is the key to finding the Sama fruits. Let's go. It is far away. Rana still has the red flag. Um, for now she's being protected inside what looks like a dendro shield. So for now I think she's safe. But um, she's not that far from danger. It's just the Aranara that we met is just making sure that her condition doesn't get any worse. So for now, I guess the death flag is lowered. Okay. <clears throat> I'm back, how is your throat? My throat is starting to get dry, but more than that, I'm starting to get sleepy. I think this this overly long world quest is best done in short bursts. Say one or two quests in the chain at a time and not taking the bulk of it. But alas, here we are. Saturday is the most time that I have to stream without worrying about sleeping in. So I want to do I at least want to accomplish as much as possible today. Arara Ararishan Ararishan Ah, uh, Nara. Don't be afraid, we're not bad, Nora. Paimon's Paimon, and she's Akaido. You're Ararichan, right? We are friends of Aranara. That's right, Araja sent us here, saying that you can help us. Well, there's been strange Nara around. That's why I was a bit scared. We didn't mean to scare you, it's just we didn't know you were so absorbed in... Hmm. Since you can see Ararak, Arari, 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 and our friends with Araja, the forest must recognize you. You can't be bad, Aranara. Hmm. Mm hmm. You are a good Nara. Ararikan is not afraid. You say that you have questions for Ararikan. Yep, that's right. Uh.
We would like to know more about the delicious fungus. Uh, we would like to know more about the suspicious Nara around Vimara village. You tell Arara Ararikan what happened in brief, though how much Ararikan understood is a different story. Arana is good Aranara, protecting Vana often and helping little Nara always are what Arana does. Ararikan once helped little Nara. Arana said that Marana's avatar is taking little Nara away, so Ararikan helped. Recently, the local Vana, uh, I mean the forest, the forest and stream are always crying. Maybe it's because the mar of Marana. Marana bad. Marana's referred to the withering and Vana. That's gonna mean the forest. Well, that's some new Aranara world. Birds lean, learned. Wait, does the forest cry too? Maybe it's something only Aranara could hear. Sunshine brings happiness, but too much too much sunshine means less water. Water makes us grow, and no water means withering. Songs bring happiness and power. Getting th sick makes us upset, and being sick for too long means means withering. It's the same for Vana and Aranara. Ah, uh, but mint is different. Mint's so strong. The forest has been crying harder lately. Ararikan is worried. Is it because Marana is harming the forest? Ararikan is not sure. It smells like Marana, but not really the same. But Ararikan knows that some bad dirty stuff are making the forest sick in places Ararikan can't see. If the forest keeps being sick like this, a super giant Marana will come and suck all living, living things away. All the flowers will wither away and leaves will fall. Hmm. The fruits will go bad, and the mushrooms will stop growing. Huh? No more mushrooms? That means no more chicken mushroom skewers. We're here to look into the suspicious Nara. I want to skip the dialogue. There's just so many. It's so tedious. Mm, just leave it to us. Now we've got another question. Tell me about the super bad, super dirty stuff. I, uh, giant Iron Mountain, you mean that super big ruin guard over there? Speaking of which, something seems off with that ruin machine. It has no eye. Hey, that's true. Other ruin machines all have a core that looks like an eye. However, we can use nothing about ruin machines. As for the giant Iron Mountain, it has been here since a long, long time ago. A long, long time? How long is that exactly? The time it takes for a tiny little seed to grow into a giant tree that can touch the sky. Huh? That sure is a long, long time. Well, it shouldn't be hurting the forest if it has been here that f for that long. Who knows, it might revive itself at some point. Paimon hopes not. Either way, let's investigate it, shall we? Who knows, we might even find some treasure. Alright. We're gonna find it there. Uh. Oh, Yikam! Welcome to the stream! Good evening! Aka! Welcome to the stream! I imagine they speak like no puns. Yeah, me too! Because the, they speak in other... Um, how should I say? Their manner of speech isn't as complete as the human race. And they do... They do have a lot of ara, ara in their words. In their speech. Investigate the strange spot. This one? Mm. What's my constellation and my standard characters? Um, hold on, let's check. Also, I need a break from speaking. Let's see. Constellation. For Noel, I think I have C6. Raiden A, nothing. Ayaka, I have C1. Putao, none. Venti, none. Razor, two. 
What a surprise. Yanfei! This is what I'm most proud of. C6 Yanfei! Ah, so good. And the other is either C less than C6. There we go. I am going. I'm sorry. I, I think I have been falling asleep. I have been dozing off. Uh, it's hard to. Um, reading, just reading aloud is so draining. It's so draining. That makes me respect teachers even more who has to teach classes eight hours a day while speaking out loud so that every student can hear them. Oh, it's gonna be very, it's really tiring. So much Ara, but no Ara. Ara. Ara, Ara. Akairo, just asking, why did you want to be a Yanfei main? Um. Uh. Because Yanfei was the most enjoyable pyro character that I got. Like, I don't know, her gameplay to me just clicked. And I liked it. It just keep pressing the button and then charge it up. Pressing button charge attack. Also, I really like her voice lines, Yanfei. Cause I don't just she's really cute, really cute. I'm almost sad that she doesn't. She, aside from the teapot, what other what other quests feature Yanfei? We need more. Oh, there is the chasm one, but it also involves other characters. I want another one, another quest specific to Yanfei. But yeah, um, also Yanfei is one of the first 4 star characters that I got when I was just starting out Genshin. I'm pretty sure I did get I did get Bennett before Yanfei but Yanfei's gameplay just clicked for me. Investigate a strange spot. My, my voice is slowly dying. I'm sorry, it's starting to get rough. I can try to do to talk a bit to talk more relaxed. So I can be a bit more subdued. But it it sound like I'm just whispering now. When in when in fact I just I want to try to keep my voice raised so it's more audible. Keep exploring. Where? You know the feeling. Oh yeah, because um, you did intern as a teacher, right? You got to experience it firsthand. So yeah, <laughs> having to having to speak a lot. You really need a lot of stamina to be a teacher. Stamina and also have a strong voice. Oh, hello. Is this gonna come out? Oh no, it's gonna come alive! <sighs> it's Iron Man! It looks like an angel. Oh, that woke me up. Stop! Come here! Ah! Ah! Yanfei would be very, very helpful against this. What do you call this? Ruin. 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 I don't know anymore. Uh, chaos module, chaos storage. I took some of your yawn face. I'm sorry, but um, for I think I was very lucky with yawn with pulling for yawn in whenever I'm either wishing for a promoted character or even in the standard banner, I got yawn That's why it's it was either yawn or Noel. Well, it was so easy to get them to C6. In stand oh, in standard characters you meant Lisa, Amber, and Kai. Ah, the, the free ones. The starter ones. 
I don't think I have constellations for them because they are pretty rare for some reason. Hold on. Lisa. I actually have C1 Lisa. That's a surprise. Kaya, C1 too. Amber, C1 too. Huh, how about that? So all of them are in C1. I don't really remember that happening. It's a, a Ruin Drake. It's called a Ruin Drake. That thing you're fighting can use elements. Oh, really? Ruin Drake. I wonder if there's a Ruin Josh later in the story. Keep exploring. Alright then, that's what we do best. Water surface arabesque. Investigate the strange spot. Ah, what fresh hell is this? Is that a ruin... Grader? That's a ruin grader, isn't it? I think I need to activate the waypoint first. But it's not anywhere near us. Arere? Is there an any way... Any way to get above fast? Uh. Well, I'm just gonna go to... I'm just gonna go there first. This is a ruined grader, but it's sealed by something. Oh, wait. Strange spot. Ah, it's above! So I have, I have no choice. I really have to climb this. <sighs> Ah. Ah. Or someone who claims to be enjoying playing game, <laughs> playing the game, I sure do complain a lot. I'm really sorry. Oh, it's gonna be an easy way to get up this place. Please. Where? How? Oh, here. Mushrooms. Ruka, shove a mushroom. Is that the mushrooms you guys were talking about that is hard to farm? Star shroom. Give Kaya constellation. Oh, you're using Kaya! Kaya. I think it's hard to come by a Genshin player now who still uses the standard characters. Uh, but Red Soul still uses Lisa. Mama Lisa. <clears throat> when you were younger, you went to... Uh, hold on. Let me just get through... Wait. Where is that waypoint? Um, it's actually far from where we are. And it's at the top. So there's no point going to the, going to that place just yet. Let me just focus on getting to where we actually need to go. I don't think I'm going to the right place though. I cannot for the life of me figure out where I need to go. Is it here? Sorry. Ah, oh, what the frick? <laughs> Where did it come from? It's uh, the, it's above. It's above. All right, I need to climb this. Stop it, you! There. Hey. 
You'll need to use those fast traveling. Yup, I'm pretty. Yeah, we need to unlock waypoints. Also for primo gems as well. Hold up, where am I going? Clap, clap, clap to the strange spot. Where are we going? Clap, clap, clap. To the strange spot. No! Oh, come on. Why is this? The game is making me suffer unnecessarily. You build Kaya. Kaya. Uh, um, I guess it would make sense if you don't have any other cryo character to depend on. Because you're not allowed to wish just yet. <laughs> right? Still waiting for Natlin. Okay, this spot. Nope, we still need to climb further. Here! Sheesh! Why go so far? Oh, is this, is this someone's grave? Fifteen K Mora, thank you. The deeper we go, the lusher it is. Paimon, uh... Keep exploring. Keep exploring. I mean, why sure, why not? Coconut. Okay, I think at least now that there's a path that we, we can- Ah! No! Don't fall! There's a path that we can follow. I think at least we're going the right way. There we go. This is so, so hard to explore in this place. It's so vertical. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Finally, a waypoint. <laughs> What the f- I wasn't expecting a person to be here. Hi! Who? Oh, oh this is the Ruin Guard. Hold up. I feel like I want to take a look. Sheesh, it's big! That's the Ruin Guard, isn't it? The eye? Ah, uh, yep. So you depend on Kaya for now, and until Natlan, you'll still be you. Oh, well, you can. You, it's possible that you might have. By the time we get to Natlan, you might have the strongest Kaya in the entire Genjin community. Uh, I kept missing missing the trampoline. Those mushrooms. I just saw the one that I used earlier to boost my jump. But one misstep here, and you're back down. Unless you unlock the waypoint already. Lots of jumping and climbing, yeah? It's a challenge to get here. Yeah, kinda like Jump King, but 3D. <sighs> Another Venti Club member. They, they do look like they're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> How did you get up here? Nara Akaido, that's the suspicious Nara. He's been sneaking around here with that suspicious machine. Hmm, you're right. Coming to a place like this is pretty suspicious, alright? Uh, I'd say you're the suspicious ones here. After all, I am a certified researcher from the Academia, and you are outlanders of unknown origin. We've been commissioned to investigate this place. Oh, a commission. 
So you're adventurers, or perhaps you're Eremites or something? Well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jazari. Oh, like Kazari, but J. Okay then. This is, I think, this is the Jakura Jensing ritual. Ah, Kishar researcher, as you can see. I don't care that you came here for, but don't get in the way of my research. You know, it's so easy for me to push you off this place, and no one will know. We don't have any witnesses. The the R and R that we have here can keep quiet. What's there to be researched in this deep cave? There are always things to be researched everywhere. At the, as the saying goes, ignorance is re a researcher's disgrace. Uh, I picked the interesting quest first. I fail to see how this is interesting, but I guess I just have to keep going. It's only been three hours? Hmm. Yep. Doesn't feel like it. Feels longer than three hours. I've been reading a lot of lines. I, you know what? I think I speak more words. I speak more streaming than when I'm outside. Uh, when I'm doing IRL stuff. You must have noticed the huge ruin machine out there, right? That is actually a ruined golem made in the ancient realm of Conria. In the local lexicon of Conria, the name might possibly have been something like Mechanical Warden. See? We're right behind the ruined golem. The machine operator should have been one. The, should there have been one, would have entered from here. Hmm, but a machine of this size would have required more than one operator, right? <laughs> That's among my research topics. Unfortunately, I haven't made much progress so far. Ugh. Exploring the ruined golem from the inside seems to be the only solution, and I'm pretty looking for a way in. He's not more suspicious by the minute. That's right, we did meet an Abyss Order member disguised as a researcher that one time. Ah, uh, back in Kanomiya. Hyman Rikunzi was called Enjo. Akaido, do you remember what happened to him again? We beat the snot out of him. Hey, hey, please don't. I'm a legitimate researcher. You don't believe me, do you? See this? This is an investigation charter from the Academia, with the highest possible level of clearance. It's not... Something to be given away on the streets. Certainly not one concerning investigation shot. Investigations into ancient ruins as important as this. The academia would never issue something like this casually. Oh, I need to drink water again. I can't give you the original copy, but um, wait a second. Where did I put my camera? I remember placing it inside my bag. Oh, it's a camera that's suspicious. Jazari says the device up carefully. It is indeed a camera. Uh -huh. This is the suspicious machine you mentioned? It's just a camera. A camera? We don't need to know what a camera is. God damn it, Oyoverse, please. There's so much padding in your game. This is a priceless item as far as the academia is concerned. I can't just let you touch it. Wait, who were you talking to just now? Oh, they can't see the Aranara. Um, about that. Uh, she's, she's been alone since she was little. <laughs> let's just, let's not say that about time one. Oh, so you often talk to yourself. Well, I've heard of similar cases before. I think it's pretty normal to talk to yourself. 
Don't worry, I understand your condition. It's okay. We're friendly people here in Sumeru. You'll have no trouble making real friends. I guarantee it. Uh... Still, do not get in the way of my research. After all, nothing under the sun is truly new, and it is our duty as researchers to collect information and investigate it. All the charters are recorded in the academia. If you're still skeptical, just keep an image of this for validation in the house of De Dana. Anyway, we've got something to discuss, Agairo. Uh -uh. Let's talk over there. As you wish. Talk to Ara Ara Rican. Um, where is Ah? Oh, it's just a set of dialogues over and over again. Paimon needs friends. Ara Rican could be your friend. Me too. Um, thanks, you two. But that's not the problem. The issue is that he can't see you, Arikan. Hmm? When Nara grow up, they can't really see our Nara anymore. Young Nara sees us because they are innocent, but grown Nara can't. Nara Akaido is a dreamer, favored by tree and flower, so you can still see us even as a grown-up. Well, Paimon doesn't think Jazari was lying anyway. You would have misunderstood him. Alright, yeah. Arabican saw that Nara taking out his camera and doing kachink to Hilinara. Very suspicious. If that Nara isn't bad, as he runs away every time the Hilinara come, so he can't really be friends with the Hilinara. It sounds kinda sad. Mm hmm. Then, uh, so, he shouldn't be a bad person. Nor should he be related to the children at Vimara village. I'm not particularly interested in all this, but we'll finish what we started. Yep, Paimon totally agrees. Anyway, since he's doing research around here, he should be pretty familiar with the situation. Maybe he can help you out ever again. Talk to Jazari again. There's a lot of talking. There's so much talking. Are? Are? Re? Why can't I climb up? Ayaka, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh. There we go. Didn't we start around 8? How is it still 3 hours? I feel confused with the time. Um, we started at... Uh, I was actually late earlier. So we started around 8.30. Almost 8.30. Uh, we are nearing 4 hours now. Ah. Uh. But oh my god, I'm so drained. Finally believe me, do you? Yep, guess you're not suspicious after all, Jazari. We have some questions about the situation. Ask away. I am, uh... Kush... Kush... As a... Ksharar... Reva researcher who specializes in studying ruin machines. I've been investigating this big guy over here for years. No one on this earth knows more about this ruined golem than I do. What about beneath the earth then? Well... <laughs> Legends... <laughs> That's unfair, Paimon. You're belittling him, we don't know how he even got here. 
Yeah, actually, I am quite curious if he just climbed on the way here, or maybe he possesses a vision. Legend is told that the ancient realm of Kynria ties beneath the earth. Since, since they built all the room machines, it would be it would be arrogant of me to say that I understand these devices better than they do. Uh, tell me, tell me about the bad, dirty stuff. Uh, you're looking for bad and dirty things, are you? Then you should visit the city. The city. Are bad things in the city? This is just something adults say. Anyway, this locale is somewhat polluted, which might be related to the bad and dirty stuff you mentioned. Well, here's the situation. We've heard that the forest here has... So many things. The forest has so many words. Is that so? Let me think about this. I might have indeed some clues. Hold up, let's just continue the dialogue. Ah, uh, as an auto scroll, I need to drink water. <sighs> and well, a ruin golem is theoretically the same as a ruin guard, except that it was to be operated by people. Have you noticed anything abnormal about this ruin golem? Its eyes seem to be missing. Yeah, this big guy here's got no peeper. Huh? Exactly. According to the documents, ruin machines are powered by their cores. To be precise, by the dark power inside what you call an eye. When Conria was destroyed, many ruin machines like this one burst out from the desert. Although things are different now, even the academia was unable to handle the cores back then. A single mistake could cause a core meltdown, leading to a serious accidents. As a result, the Academia had no choice but to temporarily seal the course and deal with them later. If the documents have it right, have it right, the core of this ruin golem would be sealed inside the ancient ruins known as the Dev's Cavern, which is right beneath our feet. Is there anything wrong with the core? There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be, but we have detected some energy leakage. Leakage. The seal seems to have been damaged at some point, though we have no idea when. <laughs> the last time someone published a research report regarding such matters was more than 10 years ago. Any progress on this matter would warrant a large amount of funding from the academia. Funding? Are you sure that you get more you get more from doing research? That's right. Speaking of which, we didn't talk about pollution a moment ago. Uh I mean... This would really be an arc and send for those who study fringe subjects like us. At first, I had planned on taking the route to record in the previous reports to look inside. Unexpectedly, all the all the entrances were blocked. First things first though, if you want to travel underground, I do have an idea as to how as to how. Interested? This Nara awesome. How do we travel beneath? Guess you're pretty good after all, so how do we get down there? We just need to find a way to enter this ruin golem and smash the blocked entrance open with it. Is that even possible? Are you serious? Hmm. Well, it sounds like a good idea to me. It should be alright, and the data acquired from this would be priceless. Even if... You, 
Even if something does go wrong, the benefits still outweigh the risks. Also, if we can investigate the core buried underground, I could submit a funding application on your behalf. What do you think? That's killing two birds with one stone. Well, three birds actually. Ah. There's so much unnecessary unnecessary dialogue. I'm What do you think, Akairo? Since Mr. Jazari has put it like that, Paimon reckons we should do some academic research. Great, so how do we get in? Aha, I almost forgot the most important thing. Opening the door to the Ruben Golem's cockpit requires an amity device. To put it simply, a key. The bad news is that I don't have this key, but the good news is that I have discovered its whereabouts from studying the documents on hand. If you must know, I have scoured half the house of Dana for the few records available. The last report on the Amity device was published decades ago. And though I have now figured it all out, my findings cannot be published as things stand. Most irritating indeed. So where exactly is this key? To put it simply, the key may be found in Port Ormos, to the south. In the hands of an antique dealer named Royunjin. Would you please... We're gonna go outside all the way to Port Ormos just for a key? Traveling is far. I've been cheated out of, of a lot of more before on account of this. That's true. I do find it hard to follow your thoughts your thought at times, at times too. Wait, so this is actually all my fault? Well, whatever the case, we're going to Port Ormus, right? Let's go check it out then. We're gonna leave this place to go to Port Ormus. Luckily, we have a fast travel point there. Pretty sure we- Oh, we're behind! That makes sense. This is Port Ormus. I think this is- this is the ruined golem that I saw on my way to Port Ormus the first time. So now we're behind- behind it. It's really big. Talk to Royinjin. It is big. Will I fight it? Um, well, ruin guards in general. Those ruin enemies. They are. They have a weakness. I think all of them have weaknesses. So while the golem doesn't have its eye, that's why it can't power up yet. Once it does, that I assume would be its weakness. So even if it's big, at least we can just stay at a far distance and shoot for the eye. Or shoot for whatever its weakness is. So as long as we're properly equipped, maybe we can fight it.
Did you come specifically to visit me? Well, I shan't let you down. We're looking for an antique. Oh no, I can't see the importance of this. Ah yeah, the Amity device. For that, but I'm just gonna be skipping so much dialogue. It took me three hours to break, to quit reading the dialogue. I guess, nice attempt. But I don't know. It, um, a quest this long, if we're gonna do it, like, if we're gonna do it continuously without taking any breaks, it's bound to get uninteresting. Because there's very little gameplay to keep it varied. Just, I don't know. Is this our money? More on hand. One, two, three, five hundred thousand. Just give it all. Take the money. Alright, take the money. Oh my god. I can what? Take it! Why not? It's not working. I wonder why. Enter number. F it's 500,000, right? Five. One, two, three. What the hell? It's not work. Oh, we have to press and hold. God, hold. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why did I miss that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so. Tulog na. My brain, my one brain cell is not working anymore. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. Uh, this one's got to be fake. Antiques are sold for their stories. Whoa, that's impressive understanding for someone your age. Wait, but that's not the point. Well, I don't know about this Dane fellow, but Dane? Dane's Sliff? But I sure have heard of Storm Terror's lair. Anyway, if you have different insights about antiques, we could discuss them in private. Whatever this is, it's definitely not the Amity device. What I'm looking for is a key that can open up the Rune Golem on the Vantaka Mountain. According to my research, it should be in the hands of your grandfather, Mr. Hassad, the Golden Adventurer. Well, at least that was the case several decades ago. Aka is really sleepy. <laughs> He's on autopilot now. <laughs> well, at least that that m my mistake there kind of woke me up a bit. Oh, come on. You should have just said this earlier. You didn't exactly let me. <laughs> but that really brings me back memories. It's been so- I don't care about your grandpa, grandpa. When I was li I don't care! Speaking of which, it is mostly because of him that I became an appraiser of antiques. All the stories about treasures were just so intriguing. Still, the thing you spoke of is not here with me. Eh? You haven't sold it off, have you? I wish I did, but the treasures don't stay where they don't belong, as they say. I mean, isn't that what happens in all treasure hunting legends? Well, Grandpa didn't care about any of that stuff, but according to him, that device engraved with ancient characters was lost during one of his adventures in some underground cave. That was a long story, one which he told me so many times, but I can't remember a single word of it now. Actually, I even planned a treasure hunt for it with some others back then, and as to whether- I don't care, Grandpa J I don't care about you! Just give me the Amity device! Alright, we're going to... Jazari's Mora Purse. A lot of NPCs here are very rich. Find the secret base. Oh, 
Hakawa will surely love Tower of Fantasy. You can skip the. Oh, really? Nice, nice. In well, in Genshin, you can just you can skip dialogues one by one. But if you can, if you can skip the entire cutscene, much better, much better. Because we'll, we're gonna miss some parts of the story, but at least we still know what to do. The village by the river added to the archive. Ugh. Secret base is a uh, domain. It should be. Oh, even Grandpa went with us. It should be in a cave somewhere near here. Is my memory going or something? Why don't we ask the villagers of Vimara Village? They should know if there's a cave around here. The villagers, eh? There's no point asking them. This is a secret base. How would they even know where it is? I remember correctly. The cave entrance should be behind these vines. So let's split up and search for it. Alright, then let's start our search for the vines here. Uh, there's really are there really there there really are so many of them though. They are not vines, they're Vamada. Huh? You know something about this, Arariken? Yeah, these are Vamada. Aranara made them. Why would the Aranara make this? Aranara make Vamada when they don't want Naran to enter a place. Where Vamada are present, only Aranara can enter. Huh. Are an are pretty small, but the place has been blocked completely. I mean, things even you can like, if you can't get through. Nara can't get in, but Aranara can sing. Vamada spin when they hear us singing, and then, but when they do, we can. I think it's about time for me to end this stream. Um, I'm sleeping too much. I'm tired of reading. Um, let me just finish this. Oh great, more things. Aranarikan taught you this song. It has the power to turn Vamada such that uh, paths will be open. Play this song on the vintage lyre when next to these strange spheres to activate the Vamada. After this, attack the activated Vamada to cause it to rotate. Okay, so just go here. Alle! Just go here then. Arerere? Rhythm of Vamada. Fa mi mi re do. Fa mi mi re do. Fa fa mi mi fa fa mi mi. I don't think it did anything. Ah, uh, wait. We need to attack it. Oh! Wow, no kidding! It really started spinning like a ball. And there's our mysterious cave entrance. Arariken remembers this cave. Huh? Did you make this Vamada, Arariken? Arariken doesn't remember, but little Nara must be protected. This much Arariken knows. Well, We've no clue why this place was sealed by the Aranara, but this should be the entrance to the secret base. So let's call let's call those two over.
<sighs> so you found the entrance to the cave, let's go in. We just uh, nope, okay, I'm gonna stop here. I can't take it anymore. Um Investigate the secret base. Oh, uh Dendroculus. Okay, this is just gonna keep continuing if I proceed further, so um also, I don't want you guys to just keep watching me fall asleep. I'm gonna stop here for now and just continue next week. I had hope that I'd be far more energetic today, but I guess not. Isang ang FF Hooray naman dyan. FF Hooray! Di na kaya. Anyway, so um, that is the Aranara, Aranan, Aranya, Aranya, Ar 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 Arakan, Aranyaka World Quest. Aranyaka World Quest. Yep, yep. Hooray! Roll? Let's see if we can still wish for another Zhongli. Ah, uh, we don't have enough. 108. Um, is there any way for me to earn Primo Gems? I don't think there is. So, uh, but don't worry, roll, we'll roll for Primo uh, for Zhang Li next week. Just started Cuphead last week, you're now stuck on the devil. Oh, you're already on the devil! That should be pretty easy now. Um, getting to King Dice is much harder than actually fighting King Dice. Oh, no, not King Dice. What was his name again? The dice, the 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 dealer, then um, King Dice and the Devil. It's much harder to get to them, but those two boss fights should be should be really should be smooth sailing from there. But my tip is to to defeat the Devil easily. Use use the green bullets. Yep, King Dice, uh, King Dice and the Devil. They're much easier than. Uh, compared to how you get them, like uh, before King dies, you're supposed to play a gauntlet, a series of a series of challenges, and I think I found it I found that much harder. But for the devil, I think it's much easier to use the green bullets because you don't have to aim to you don't have to aim the, at the target. For the bullets to hit. The bullets will home in to the devil. Although it's much weaker than regular bullets. But at least you don't have to worry about aiming anymore. That's how I defeated the devil. So good luck. Using the cha is that the chaser? Is that the is that what the bullet is called? The green one. And you're gonna do the delicious last course after it. I still haven't actually done that yet, and I'm not sure. I do plan to, but I'm not sure if I should play through the entire game again before trying DLC, or just go straight to the DLC when, whenever I decide to play Cuphead again. It's a fun game. Uh, Genshin on Thursday? Um, on Thursday since we don't have much time to stream, I guess I'll be playing Valorant instead. Valorant on Thursday, then Friday, Saturday would be Genshin as well. So let's put aside Xenoblade for now. Let's put aside Aki as well. Let's put aside Xenoblade for now. Alright. Play the bosses. Oh, so actually, that could be a good compromise. Instead of playing through the entire game again, just play through the bosses on hard mode. Which I haven't tried before. It was just a normal. Uh, and anyway, Cuphead is without the exploration in the overworld and the run and gun sections. It is just mostly boss rush. It's a boss rush. Check how many more days on the banner, by the way. Um, banner. Oh, we only have six days left. I thought we'd have more. Oy vey, this is not good. Then if Friday, Friday would be my last chance to get Zhongli. Oh, 
no! <laughs> that, is it Thursday? Oh yeah, Thursday. It's Saturday. Yeah, Thursday. Or we'll, we won't make it to Friday, won't we? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna miss Zhang Li! Uh, <laughs> uh, I can get Ganyu instead. I don't know when Zhongli is gonna return though. I feel like this would be my last chance in a long while. Once we have him guaranteed. And I also think Zhongli would be useful in Abyss since I'm very dependent on shield characters. Oh no! Uh, is it not meant to be? Swipe card now. <laughs> Hold up. Wait. If if my Discord Nitro didn't auto renew, I could have just used that to buy Welkin. But the problem is my Discord Nitro auto renewed. Uh. <laughs> is this is a dilemma. I can still try Spiral Abyss off stream. And just be just be very mindful of the commission quests. So I can I can still I can still wish for a bit. Didn't get one one month free instead. Um my one month free came last month, uh, August. It started August 1. And it should have ended last September. At the start of September 1. Or September 2, I think. But then I got a notification from uh from Paymaya because that I, I linked my Paymaya virtual card to PayPal and I got a no notification that Discord charged me for a Discord Nitro renewal so it was auto renew Yep so yeah I think I still I still got one month free subscription and then I didn't realize it was set on auto renew. So now I'm on my second month of Discord Nitro. I can say uh, the, the the bright side here is I guess I can still keep using the emojis. But that's all there is to it, not much else. I don't know what to do with Zhongli. Ah, uh, should I get Welkin? I think I should get Welkin. Hmm. For Zhongli. Don't forget to remove your credit card. Yep, I'll unlink the yeah, uh, PayPal. It's linked to my PayPal account. I'll have to unlink that. I keep it linked because um, whenever we're doing giveaways, so I just I don't have to log in anymore whenever I'm giving away Discord Nitro. So that's how it works. That's how it works. I'll be mindful of that. This will be my last month of well of Nitro. I'm gonna cancel the subscription. I'm gonna cancel, yeah, cancel the subscription. This is, this is my last month, but I won't waste the boost since I'm s I still have two more boosts granted because I just renewed. Uh, Zhang Li though. Th so thanks for the heads up. I didn't realize we only have six days left, but I don't know what to do with Zhang Li. Should I just should I just forget about Zhang Li for now and go for Ganyu? The only problem is I really don't think I'd be enjoying I'd enjoy use, using Ganyu on the PS4 because using bow and arrow is just difficult. It's really difficult to play bow and arrow on a controller. But anyway, I guess I still have a few more days to decide if I want Welkin or not. But in reality, it's much better to get Welkin as early as possible so we can st we can stack up those primo gems. No this Miss Senpai. No! No! I don't want But anyway, um, Welkin is, is just only $5. Hmm. Uh, because the only options that I have left are... Let's say I get 200 Primo Gems from Spiral Abyss. If I clear floors 9 and 10. Uh, then... 
What else can I do? <gasps> what else can I do? <laughs> Better decide now. Zhongli needs the more. <laughs> I'm not child. I'm not Zhongli's benefactor. I don't want to let go of Zhongli though. <laughs> Let's go here. Explore the map. That is another option. It will take us a while to do that, but at least those are guaranteed primo gems. So unlocking waypoints and unlocking chests, it's gonna take so long though. I think, um, to be sure, I do think Wilkin is another choice. Is the only choice. Uh, why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Anyway, so um, let's just do Wordle. Zhong, oh, 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 it, it's just oh, uh, it's true after all, right? Uh, 3.0 is much shorter this time. That's why we're getting 3.1. We're almost gone. Oh no, it's not 3.1. It's the second phase. Second banner phase, which is Ganyu, and who's the other one? Is it still Tinari? Oh, is or is it Kokomi? Short Spiral Abyss tomorrow? Hmm. Let me think about that. Or actually, I think we can go for a short stream, continuing the quest tomorrow, just so that we have more days to do the R and R. Because either way, I have no choice. We have to finish this. Regardless of, of how long we can stream. Hmm, I wonder. I think I might I might also stream tomorrow, or depends. Depends on what I have what I have in store tomorrow. Because we really need to finish. We really need to focus on It's urgent for Zhongli. It's urgent. Uh, good night and thanks Akairo and you guys for a fun stream. You did well. Thank you Nagato. Thank you. I do apologize that I kept dozing off. I really I don't know why. I drank coffee by the way. I had drank like, two cups of coffee before starting the stream, but the dialogue is just a snooze fest. There's such there's just way too many things the characters say that isn't exactly important to the story. It's just padding. Oh. Hello Natalie, welcome back! Oh, stream ending? Yep, um... I was dozing off too much. I think... I thought it best to end it because... I don't want you guys to just watch me sleep. Watch me nene. I think it's pretty... Like a sleeping stream? Although, I think there are VTubers who do that. They just stream themselves in VTuber form. Sleeping. Which is kinda random. Sunday stream back? Ah, I wonder why. I'm gonna go to see you. See you, Noblik. Take care and thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your Sunday. Maybe for now. Maybe for now. Uh, let's bring Sunday stream back, but only for just a little bit since... How long have we been streaming today? Four hours? I, I don't think I can last until 1 a.m. Maybe just around 12 tomorrow, so I have to be strict with the time. Also, I have to make sure I don't fall asleep again. But let's see how many we, how much we can accomplish in three to four hours of streaming. Mostly three, most likely three tomorrow. Well, we'll see. But before we end the stream, let's still do Wordle. Okay, here we go. So, uh, what do you guys think is our wordle word of the day? I'm guessing it's leap. All right, but we got the letter E correct. <laughs> sleep, <laughs> E coming. We're in the same wavelength. 
sleep. How about... Uh, S is taken. Yep, S is naked. Does not snore. Um, how about Ch 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 Ah, What? No, R is uh, is R take it? Not yet. Wired, wired. Oh, this is good. Um, uh, it. Hmm. Ire, ire. R is probably the last letter. So. Hmm. Rider. Rider. Ah, the letter I is in the incorrect position. Rider. Fires? Fires. Um, the letter I and the letter L. Uh, the letter I and the letter R are in the correct incorrect position. Fries could be good though. Fries. Ah, but the letter S has already been used. Fry. 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 It could be ER something. Or T R I E try try brief brief here we go brief nope so the R and I aren't in there that means the I I could be the first letter e in in inget inget but i doubt there's a filipino word here inget inner inner Inner. Let's try it. Oh! Oh, it's so close! It's so close! Inter. Inter. But what other words can we try? Inter. In. Nope. In. Nope. In. Nope. Inner, so it uh, yep, it's inter. Inter, inker. Oh, it could also be inker. Let's try. Let's just exhaust all the chances that we have. Yep, it's inter. I will be very surprised if it's not. Inter. Yay! We got it. Thank you guys for helping me. Thank you. Inter. GG! Yep, GG! Alright. Uh, where's Battery? Battery. Battery. <clears throat> GG! GG for today as well. GG. So, um, I'm not sure how, how much longer we have for the Aranara quest. I'm pretty sure we're not even halfway through yet. And I guess it's true what Red Soul said. The first half is very boring. Boring. But mostly because there's just too much talking, which I don't think is 
too relevant to the story, but I'm not exactly justifying why I'm starting to fall asleep. Time to recharge, yo. Time to recharge. Recharging. Oh, also, I almost forgot the. I almost forgot the the poll over at live chat. With 35 votes, this is a surprise. Ventu is winning. Venti won. 37 votes. I mean, 37% of the votes. So Venti is your favorite Arkin so far. Majority vote wins. Next is Zhong Li, and then Raiden A, and then Kuzanali. So this doesn't so for the 35 people who voted. This is a good indication for the trend is going downwards. That that means Venti is the most likable Arkin. And then it just goes, it just plummets down. Why last Nahida? I'm guessing because we we haven't gotten too much of Nahida yet. Nahida. We haven't gotten any, or not a lot, of scenes with Nahida. Just her Arkin quest so far. Maybe we need more of her interacting with the people of Sumeru. But what um, Zhongli and Raiden A as well? I'm surprised. I would have thought that they would, they would um, be far ahead from Venti. But I guess Venti still. I guess we like Venti. Man, if it were me, I'd either would have voted for A or Venti. Maybe more for Venti. I wanna cry. You you spent a ton pull on the standard banner, three single pulls, and you had no luck. On a five star, um, it depends on your pity. Since I think the pity for the standard banner is different from the pity for the promoted banner. You're now at, oh seventy seven pity though, and then you're very close. Just keep wishing. Well, worst case scenario, you need thirteen more wishes to hit hard pity. Is hard pity ninety or one hundred? I think it's ninety. Yep, but you are very close to a 5 star. Hoping it's a character and not a weapon. N 90 is hard pity. So very close, just only 13 left. You want Kuching. Want Kuching. Well, I hope you get Kuching. But sadly, there's no such thing as 50 50 in, in the standard banner. It's whoever the game decides to give you. 90 now, okay, well noted. It's 90. 90 is hard pity, not 100. Because that's still a 1600 primo gems difference. So I hope you get Kuching. And not pull a chi chi. Not pull a chi chi. Just get Kuching. <clears throat> oh yeah, that reminds me of the, the luck that I wished Kurosuke back before. I wish them luck and they ended up getting Chi Chi. But just know that it came from a place of sincerity. Although I didn't mean to give you Chi Chi, it was very sincere. Oh, but you do want. You, you don't mind a Chi Chi. That's very rare. So, well, I guess just either Chi Chi or Kuching and no one else. I gave you two chi chi. So it's chi 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 ki machi 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 machi. I just don't want Mona. Mona, huh? Um, as for me, I think if, if I ever get Mona, I think that's fine because I also need a hydro character. So far, I don't have a useful hydro character. Yeah, I don't have a useful hydro character. I think Mona would be fine. I am gonna end live chat now. So, um, live chat, the live chat poll. So, the winner is Venti. That really surprised. I would have thought it would be Raiden A or Zhang Li. But not Venti. And the v Venti's lead is so big. Okay, Venti, it is. I wanted to ask what your favorite Arkan quest is so far, but since we haven't finished with Sumeru yet, it'd be unfair. But so far, we, even with just Act 2, um, I think 
Sumeru's Orchid Quest is my favorite so far. I would love to give to give your Mona to me. Yeah, they all godly accept and um I can give you my kuching since I do have a kuching, but I haven't used her since I got Ayaka last year. Child not useful. Nope, not really. But uh, I just I'm just suddenly reminded that I also have to build child as well. You love Liyue and Sumeru. Liyue just started off really slow as well because you were just you spent a lot of time accompanying Zhong Li. Preparing for the rite of passing. I think I like Sumeru for its new mechanic. Yeah, Sumeru, fe Sumeru felt really different. So it's not just it's not as straightforward, and there is this constant mystery that you're trying to solve. It's like Groundhog Day, but the presentation is very good. <laughs> but Zhongli is hot, so I'm happy. You do get to trail Zhongli a lot, and you get to hear his voice. I guess that's fine. But the, his voice is just so oddly therapeutic that you can just fall asleep listening to Zhongli. Just go, Osmanthus wine. Osmanthus wine. But uh, I think Zhongli's involvement in the Liyue Arcan Quest is offset by Child's involvement. So it balances out to zero. He is hot, but also I'll hide them. I'll hide them too, but I don't know. I'll hide them feels a bit sus in the Sumeru Arcan Quest because of. He lied to us, basically, when he got the, ca the, the memory capsule. He lied to us. Probably have it ulterior motives that we don't know of. Maybe his intentions are good, but why would he lie to us? <sighs> Alhaisam is so muscly. Muscly. Unlike Ito. Maybe they will update Ito's model to have those big bulky arms that can crush you. That'd be nice. Still will be wishing for E2 though. Uh. Okay, so um, I guess that's it for today. Well, tomorrow most likely maybe we'll have a gorilla stream. It's unscheduled since we don't stream on Sundays anymore, but we'll likely be able to continue tomorrow. I think I have time. Plus, I need those primo gems, but I want to try and just get Zhongli without subscribing to Welkin because that's how you lose. When you subscribe to Welkin, you don't win anything because um, you're trying to rig the game by getting more chances to wish. I don't know if, so, if it's just still justified. Aka wants to be crushed by Ito? Um, not me, Aki. I mean, ja yeah. Aki. I just... Aki. Before you get a character or a bow, get... get... Is Aloy in the standard banner? Probably not. But yeah, well, I hope you get the character that you want. Chichi, Kuching, or a bow. Alright, so... For now, I'm gonna say goodnight. Um, we still have a vet visit tomorrow. So... Um... Yeah, blame it on Aki. Everything that's wrong with me, I blame on Aki. Since I'm just a technically, technically, Aki owns this body. I'm just a visitor. Aki owns the body. What is Viridi's reaction to that? Viridi will probably, uh, I don't know, maybe call me disgusting again. Yeah, I don't want to think about it. Viridi is too rude. Poor Aki. <laughs> Alright, so um, tomorrow let's play more Genshin Impact and explore. No, not explore. Do the RNR world quest. It's urgent. We have to do it 
world quest and earn primo gems. Also maybe try Spiral Abyss again. So for now, nope, she'll call you Dishgusting. Dishgusting. She does have that uh, quirk. Uh, what do you call it? Vocal quirk? That's... <laughs> Ever since saying temp, it's tempish. Actually, we were both wrong, Viridi and I. We were both wrong. It's not... It's not Budapest or Budapest. It's Budapest. Budapest. So the T is still mentioned. So we were both wrong, uh, right? As long as, it's okay that I'm wrong, just as long as Viridi is also wrong. At least she's not right. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> it's like she has she has a canker sore. <laughs> okay, so for now, good night. Thank you very much for joining me, Batteries. I really appreciate it. Please um, rest for now as well. You guys rest. Or if you if you still have things to do for the rest of the day, then good luck. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day. But for me, it's good night for now. Good night, uh, good night, y'all. Sweet dreams. See you next stream. Yep. See you next stream. Yeah, but the next stream. Enjoy your Sunday. Yeah, but the next stream. Padayon. Good night. Good night. Good luck to Zhongli. See ya. Good night.